Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. We're in the dome. We're on a different side of the dome. I don't think I've ever broadcast, set up so much stuff on the east side of the dome. A little bit of different face action going on today. As you can see, we got Steven. He's going to work a camera for us today. But we're joined today by Katie Hunt. Katie, how's it going? I'm great. How are you? Doing well. So Katie was kind enough, nice enough to join me on the live stream. She's going to let us know what things are going on the volleyball side of things. I enjoy volleyball, but definitely from like a hobbyist, I don't know what I'm doing perspective. Well, I'm no expert, but I'll do my best. I love it. Kay. I love it. And so you have a JV player, correct? I do. Okay, so she may get a little crazier. We'll go back to the <laughs> webcam a lot during the JV <laughs> game so you can see that. Uh, see me biting my nails. Um, so your Round Valley roster today, we got Emily Yom Lamas. We've got Bailey Ziegler. We've got Olivia Prochno. We got Maggie Wagner, Courtney Baca, Riley Cattell, Tylee Finch, Addison Martin, Brindley Hawes, and Seneca McCall. We do also have Sholos, and so we'd like to welcome anybody on the Sholo side of the house with us today. We hope that you join us on the live stream. Uh, please leave us a comment in Facebook. We will try to watch chat in Facebook. And feel free to shout out. Let us know where you're watching, who you're watching, why you're watching, and all of those good things. Again, we're here on the east side of the dome for senior night for volleyball. This is Let's Go Elks. Welcome to the party. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the live stream is up and running here at Let's Go Elks on Facebook and YouTube. You can go to letsgoelks.com, you can go to youtube.letsgoelks.com, or facebook.letsgoelks.com. Jump on the live stream, let us know who's watching, where they're watching from. Let's Go Elks. Welcome to the game. Football practice over there on the other side, getting after it. Freshman girls are getting ready to get started. Lady Elks are taking the court. I'm going to have to try to not say field or pitch because we've been doing soccer and football. So one of the COVID uh, accommodations that I've heard is that the ladies will never switch sides. Correct? They will not switch sides. Which correct. works out well for us. I was hoping we'd be on a side, but I guess either one, we just need to be able to see some, some numbers. Yeah, they don't switch. The refs have to have on masks. The coaches do too. Okay, so is it a coin toss? How do we decide who begins serving in a volleyball match, Katie? There usually is, but that has changed as well, and now I don't know how they decide that, to be completely honest. This could be a learning experience for everybody. But Sholo is serving, so. Sholo is going to serve. Let's cut to that. And here we go. Oh, in the net. Now, my understanding of volleyball is we're going to rotate. Do we see that in high school as well? Does everybody serve? Do you have a dedicated server? How does that work? Um, well, they yes, they do serve, but not everybody serves. Um, the team rotates, but they will bring um, – they'll rotate people in off the bench to serve as well. Okay. So – and that, that substitution can happen optionally, correct? It's not a forced thing in and out. It's when the coach wants to make that happen. Yes. Okay. Usually they do substitute for the same people so they know, though, when they're coming in. So Round Valley with a 2-0 lead. Make that three. We do. It's headed that way. And so how many – so it's game, set, match. It's like tennis, right? And so how many um, 
How many games do they have to win, or how many sets do they have to win? Two. They play the best out of three at this level. And then varsity's three to five, first to three, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you have to win two, and you play to 25, and you have to win by two. And that's on all of them. Each that's group correct. will play to 25. Yes. Okay. Cholo's having a hard time getting it over. So I know with basketball, I don't know if it's the same way here with uh, with volleyball, but I know there's a lot of depth perception issues for people when they play in the dome because there isn't a wall where there's normally a wall in any other gym that you play on. Yeah, it for sure takes a minute for them to get used to it, I think. And I think without it, just the depth of how much is out, how much is there, like it would mess with my mind. And then in basketball with a glass backboard, it's got to be even yeah, worse. for right? sure, yep. For sure. It's a good serve. So we got Jet Hamblin down on the field today, down on the court. See field? I'm going to do it all day, Katie. <laughs> You're going to have to stop me. We got Jet Hamblin uh, in our collaboration with Legacy Teen Productions and the Lodge that's coming next year to Round Valley. So many whistles, and I don't know what any of them mean. <laughs> Round Valley 6-1. So do the girls have to be set? Is that why the ref stopped that serve right there? Yeah, I'm not sure. There was something going on with this ref down here. But yes, they have to wait for the ref to blow the whistle to serve. Timeout Sholo. So I would imagine a timeout in volleyball is similar to anything. Sometimes you just got to stop things, get your head right, got to hit the reset button. Yeah, for sure. The Sholo coach is trying to get her girls in the game. They're having a hard time getting it set up tonight. Seems like volleyball would be a huge game of momentum, especially when you're 7-1. It's hard to turn that around to get back to where you're on top again. For sure. So poor Jet, we handed him a big old camera on a tripod and said, now you have to stay out of the way because you're going to get hit with the ball. And so I don't see him. Where is he? So he's right across the side oh, there. Oh, yes, by yes, yes. I see him. Okay. Feel free to zoom in as well, Jet. Get the action for us. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching the stream, let us know what you'd like to see, if there's an angle you want to see Jet try to capture. We'll see what we can do for you that way. Round Valley served that one out, so it's now Sholo serve. a good hit. Oh. Whistle stop play. What was that there, Katie? Did she? I actually, she called it a double hit, I think, um, by on Sholo. So it's now Round Valley serve. Got Brinley Haas serving for Round Valley. Nice serve. So 9-2 for the Elks here in our first set. Another good serve by Brinley. That's out. Point for Round Valley. Brindley has a good serve. Oh, well, close to the line. Looks like it's going to be out, though. Yep. Out point show low. So there's a name for that when everything's a point. What is? It's just rally score. Rally scoring. Yes. That's it. Yep. 
Man, I've got to I've got to switch my brain here and get into volleyball mode. It's been a minute. <laughs> I jump on. We got Steven on the line here. Steven, line us out. Hey, the other thing that a lot of people don't realize is that when you sub for somebody, you can only sub for that person. You can't a coach can't put multiple people in for the same player. They're, they become sub-partners. You're paired for the rest of that set, set or the entire day? The, the that set. set. Just for the set. And the ref has to keep track of that. The book keeps track of that. Ah. Along with the side ref here, the floor ref keeps track of that as well. But it's funny, I'll be sitting in the stands and parents will be like, get something in for her. A fan will be, and I'm like, they can't. Yeah, that's They're locked in. That's definitely something lots of people don't understand. Yeah. Oh, nice serve. My wife has educated me well on this game. Uh, uh, so. so educate me on the benefit of a jump serve. Is it just the angle? It allows for a more direct shot straight and down and less of an arc? As you see girls prepare themselves and they get to that point, why are we jump serving? It's, it's harder to – it's like a attack. It's like a spike from the serving line. So it is harder to return if they do it well because it is. it's got more of a spin on it. Yeah. No, it's a line drive and then just dives at the court instead of that big looping serve uh, possibly. But I've seen some non-jumping serves that are just as tough as a good jump serve. For sure. It's well out of bounds. Valley, yep. So flag up is out, flag yes. down is in. That's correct. Okay. Thought they were landing a plane. I was getting ready for them. <laughs> <laughs> give us give us a chance in a timeout or something, folks. We'll see if we can do a little more adjusting on the white balance situation on that camera. It's going to be out on Round Valley there. Yeah, it's just I'm noticing still kind of yellow, isn't it? Yeah, let's see. So, Stephen, when we get a chance, I'll cut cameras, and we'll have you zoom in on the, the roof. We'll see if we can balance to a white here. Okay. Bring it back. Oh, Good tip. nice job there. That Addison Martin there. Senior night here tonight, so stick around, folks. Here in a couple hours, we will have senior night celebration for the three volleyball seniors. We got to talk to Coach Donaldson a little bit earlier in the year on one of our podcasts, and it, it really feels like she's got a pretty structured team, pretty solid team. She's not graduating a lot, so she's confident in where they are this year and where they're going to be going into next season as well. Yeah, she's doing a good job building the program. And, Stephen, you were telling me that, that Andrea, who now helps coach for Round Valley, also coached by Marcel just one or two years ago. Yeah. Just a couple. Yeah, just a few. I won't go into how long. She graduated in 94, though, <laughs> 93, though. So You do the math, people. Yeah. She graduated at four years old. Oh, that's how it is. Yeah. She says her 29th, 29th birthday. So yeah. That's how that works, I think. I'm yeah. learning anyway. I've got to I've got a save face. You know, she may watch this at some point. So. Okay, so timeout called. Elks lead 19 to 5. So let's try to balance. Yes. So let's cut here, cut there. Guys, huge thanks to LeSueur Advanced Automotive, new sponsor on the live stream. Aaron LeSueur, just great local company. He's who I take my vehicle to. He's fixed a transmission for me before in my truck. He has uh, looked at my cars. When I when I hit 100,000 miles, I take them to Aaron just so he can take a look at them, let me know what needs to be done, how we're doing, really trying to get the longevity out of the vehicles. And so a huge thanks to the Swear Advanced Automotive being a part of Let's Go Elks, part of our sponsor family, bringing us the action, helping us provide some on-the-job experience for some of our kids. Jet getting some dollar bills. Huge thanks to all of our sponsors in the Let's Go Elk Sponsor family. So what do I need to do to balance this? Just point it? Yes, you're going to get it on white and focus it, and it should try to rebalance itself. Make sure it's all white as good as you can, and then go ahead and come on back, and let's see if we have a balance. The lights may even be a better thing to balance to as well. So, But, guys, give us a chance. We will do the best we can to get things for you. It does you. look a little bit better. I'm not sure over there, but it does seem a little bit.
Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I was there before, but I lost it a little bit. I'd say that we'll get this figured out, but there's no guarantee, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we have we have no idea what we're doing. It's kind of our motto. So, Katie, you're in good company. She's all worried that she's not going to know what to say. Trust me. Neither do we. Yeah. I'm just worried I'll say something stupid. Oh, we all do. Hey, hey. We keep a, we keep a running ticker, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be right up there with the rest of us because my family counts on it. That's why my daughters watch the stream. Uh, uh, it's what's, not for the sports. It's for the giggles. What's Dad going to say next? Nice. Hilarious. Is he going to talk more about food than football, you know? We do tend to get on food. That yes. is that is something that's one of our commonalities. Well, you have to when half your sponsors are restaurants and things. You know, it's kind of hard not to talk about food. It's true. Food and pop shop. Love the pop shop. Oh. Brown Valley serving. Ridiculous. Oh, in the net. That was going to be a tough serve if it had got yeah, it cleared it. Yeah. Those ones just tip the top of the tape. So when I just tough. when I was playing back in high school, if it touched the net, net. it didn't count. Yeah. Did you get to reserve? I couldn't. No. Somebody, I couldn't remember. We no. talked about that no. a couple of weeks ago with somebody. So it was no reserve. No yeah. Reserve, and it wasn't rally score. No. Either. Side out games would go forever. Ever. You'd have these forever com competitive teams and yeah. <laughs> take two, three hours to play a five set match. Yeah. Did they do no, five sets no, or was it three five, set? Only three sets. That, and that's probably why, yeah. you know. Guys, we got Brian Lang on the stream. Had to stay at work to support his twin freshman Cougars. So, Mr. Lang, who do we got here? We've got we got Brenlin Lang. Oh, I know Brenlin and Brooklyn. They rodeo with us. This is kind of funny seeing them in, in a different situation. So, thanks for joining us on the live stream. We're glad that you're watching. Please hit that share button. Brooklyn's we want number two. We want to see friends and family all over the place watching this live stream. So if you're a cougar, if you're an elk, get on the live stream. Hit that share button at Let's Go Elks on YouTube and on Facebook. What we found a lot of parents do at this point, or grandmas, whoever, is they'll put YouTube on their TV, and then they'll join the chat on Facebook as well so they can kind of get the best of both worlds. So we got both of them. Join both of them. Join the action at Let's Go Elks. We've got another timeout going. Out by Round Valley this time. Sholo's making a comeback. So how many timeouts do you get? Two per, two per game. Team two per set. T two per yeah, set. Two per set. set. So Round Valley's out of timeouts then. Yeah. And they do it a lot of times uh, to just stop momentum yep. more than strategy. It's more just let's try to kill the momentum, kill this, break the server out of some groove, things like that. So just ice them a little bit. Yeah. Hey, you can. We'll take. Right back to the action. Sholo serving as the Elks lead by eight in the first set here, the freshman game. Nice move by Sholo right there, bringing it 13-20. I would imagine that communication is paramount in a game like volleyball. Just those two girls right by each other, either they were talking or they weren't, and they got lucky, but I would imagine speaking and talking and screaming has got to be number one. Each other, it's ugly. Got Mr. Muth here on the camera now. Oh, we're in trouble now. Got him pressing Dan, buttons the cameraman. Well, there's there's as little buttons as we can. Well, folks, we're doing what we can. <laughs> it's a running joke with us that don't get put Danny around uh, buttons or dials, you know. But he does a really good job. Round Valley retains control now, 22 to 13. Addison Martin serving. Nice serve. Addison, one of Saray's kids? Yes. Yes. Love the Martins. Yeah. That Good. serve put us in an advantage. The, you know, it was a tough serve, and they were able hard to put them. They struggled to get back in the game play uh, in a good offensive position with that serve. Ooh. During the beginning of COVID, we played a game night, and Saray and it might have been it Addison. It was Addison. Was it, it was, Addison yeah. that played with us? It was so funny. Yeah. It was a good time. The turned to Addison's Oh, this face is it. This is set point set right here. Point. Nice deep serve. Sholo returns. Here's hit three. 
It's out. That it was, was, is it was on in. the line. They called it on the line. So Round Valley needing a defensive point to finish the first set. Right there, you want teammate to be talking, trying to help that person out so they can know whether to make that play. Sholo with the serve. Number 11 for Sholo with the serve. Oh, oh, that is yes. Harmony Hill with the serve. Found that hole. Now, is it still considered an ace if there's no return there, or is it only an ace if they don't touch it? That's a good question. I think it's only if it hits the ground first. There's two. Here comes hit number Ooh. three over. Little out of control there, but yeah. return was made. That's that will be – that's, that's yeah. the game. Set. Round Valley will be up one set to zero. I do believe they count the sets on the foul marker, correct, yes. on the basketball. Because yep. I was like, all of a sudden realized I needed more lines or more scoreboard stuff. But I think we're good because I think they track it that way. So you survived your first game there, Katie. Yes, I did. So question I have is, so I started live streaming because when I have a microphone in my hand, I can't yell at the refs and I can't get ejected because I have to play nice. <laughs> um, so my question, Katie, are you a quiet mom or are you, a, are you a less quiet mom when it comes to supporting, we'll say, and cheering on the Elks? It depends on who we're playing. I okay, think. okay. <laughs> Let's just say hypothetically it would be St. John's. What kind of mom would you be during a St. John's game? Um, probably the loud mom. Okay. <laughs> let's you, say that you it's have, a s you have to remember that I am a Sherwood. Let's let's <laughs> let's just say hypothetically you're at a St. John's game, but you're sitting by a redskin Gary Davis. Um, Is he louder than you at that point? No. No. <laughs> no, he's the calm in the storm of <laughs> all the rest of his children. And uh, <laughs> Kathleen, I'm sure, very is quite quiet as well. <laughs> well, very much a, a yin and yang thing, right? Yeah. You've got Gary, and and then you got Kathleen. You've got Sherwood and and Gary Davis. She's got. She's changed a lot since I was in high school. She'll sit and watch quietly now. Right. But that didn't used to be the case. You know, a part <laughs> of it, I think, um, is the brown coming out in her. Because my mom is quite loud as well at ball games. Um, some her kids have had to ask her to turn the volume down a few times. And so maybe that's what it was. It's and brown and Sherwood mix, right? Yeah. My which, which means we're cousins. I was yes. hoping that wasn't coming out, Stephen. I wasn't going to admit that. <laughs> You're going to hang on to that one. See what comes out in these live streams. You yeah. just you can't. There's nothing is safe. Apparently, nothing's yeah. safe. Yeah, me and my sister were talking about that one day about when Lee was in high school, and he asked you to a dance, maybe, and yeah. she came home and he is like, Lee, you do know you're related. We're what? Cousins. And then, but it was a kind of friendly date anyways. Yeah. You guys were buddies. <laughs> then, like, the next year, you ask your younger sister and yeah. had forgotten all about it. And that <laughs> one he was more serious about. And she's like, Lee, who am I not related to? You know, he is, you know. That's fair yeah. enough. There's yeah. fair exactly. enough. There, yeah. there are some family wreaths that do occur. <laughs> the, there's trees and there's more wreath-shaped trees. It, yeah. it happens, but that's, that's all right. But, yeah. Uh, Talking about circular things, White Mountain Off-Road, another one <laughs> oh, of our nice. sponsors here. They have lots of circular things. They have UTV and ATV rentals. But, guys, if you're going to visit, if you're coming up, if you're in Sholo, if you're a Cougar and you want to rent uh, UTVs or ATVs, talk to Ryan and Heidi Marble. They have one to six seaters that you can rent for half day, full day for the weekend. You tell them where you're camping. They will bring it to you. They've got helmets. They've got everything you need. See Ryan and Heidi Marble at White Mountain Off-Road, another one of our great sponsors. Here are they, are they still open or are they closed for the season? November 1, but that doesn't mean that you can't get on there and schedule your 2021 adventure yeah. right now. They anticipate being back open on March 1st. Awesome. I saw um, I saw Kim Mer Merrill right there, and I thought she was going to inbound pass it. I had the wrong sport in my brain. <laughs> Just a second there. Yeah. Round Valley with the serve. Good so serve do, by Addison. Do the yeah. serves rotate, or does it just go how the last set ended? They rotate game to game. The first, Sholo served first last uh, last game, so Round Valley got to serve this game. Okay. If it goes to game three, then they will reflip the coin. Another coin toss. For that, yeah. Seems interesting. Here we go. Nice hit. 
Hit it where they ain't. So we, we talk a lot about parallels between sports. We're getting Dan educated on soccer through hockey and basketball. And are there are there a lot of parallels between this and tennis? Because there's verbiage is the same. And what I was going to ask is, do you try to create forward and back spin on the ball in this? Or does the spin fairly irrelevant in volleyball? I am not a tennis player. So do not ask me about <laughs> parallels between the two. But spin definitely has... Yeah. Uh, some play, especially on a serve and a yeah. hit in volleyball. So in tennis, you're looking for a spin that's more affected on a bounce because if you have backspin on the ball, the English will make the ball bounce askew. Less of a thing here, but it'll bounce off your hands, I would imagine, sure. differently when spin is in play. Sure. It, it's more like, uh, probably a better parallel in some ways is baseball, a pitcher throwing the ball. So, you know, they hit that, they can serve it that spin where it's, okay. it's diving, it's curving Fair through enough. the air. Some of them will hit a, hit a knuckle throw a, or hit a knuckleball serve where it's just floating through the air, dancing. You know, uh, my daughter she would hit a top spin serve. She kind of would roll it. Uh, nice serve by Cinema. Cone. That was nice. Cinema call. That that's why I saw the reads here. I saw Lisa McCall used to be Lisa Reed. And I'm like, okay, I see them everywhere at sports, and that's that's it. It's Seneca. There we go. Yep, she's a freshman this year. Reeds are from Duncan, or I guess Sheldon area, Duncan area. And so my grew up, grew up knowing them, rodeoing with them, that kind of a deal. So it's fun to see those connections you had earlier in life that now now here they live up here, and it's like they followed us up here after we left the <laughs> the Gila Valley area. Shola with the serve as the Elks trail by one here in the second set of the freshman game. Oh, that's close. oh. A double that's a hit hard there. Right there on yeah. top of the net. Yeah, kind of tight there on that set. Kind of hard to get it get over the top. Hey, we're trying a new setup today, guys. Can you hear the background audio very much? Just the the game itself, not us talking. But let us know if you can hear it. If you'd like us to turn that up a little bit. Do we have an atmosphere mic out? We or do. It's right it? underneath you, Stephen. I got okay. it hanging. Okay. I just don't know if I had it turned up enough. Nice job staying on our side of the net there by Addison. Here we go. Nice. There's a set. It's going to be over. Nice. Good job, Brindley. Put it away. I believe that number one for Sholo, Presley Reed Heads, mother is from Round Valley. Jamie White, mm. I played volleyball with her in high school. If you're watching the live stream, give us a confirmation on that. Round Valley closing the gap down to 6-5. Got Bailey Ziegler serving. See that momentum changing just a little bit in Round Valley's favor. Nice deep serve right there. Took him out of position with that serve. Elks are going to tie things up 6 6 in the second set of the freshman game. Another thing coaches will do to try to break momentum is sub. You know, uh, it's like instead a mini of using, ice. Instead, yeah, instead of using timeout, they'll sub. Uh, uh, just kind of break that rhythm a little bit with the server. Ziegler with another nice serve. Nice hit there by the Sholo player. Ooh. A little bit of an off hit right there, and you can see that that rolls right into the, right into the third hit, unfortunately, for Brindley Haas. It all starts with a good pass. Yep. And I was just getting ready to say what a good volley that was. We saw a it number of really good, good hits both yeah. ways. Yeah. Nice dig there by the Giannis girl for Round Valley on that last serve. Nice hit by Sholo. Yes. We got Addie's grandparents watching in Arkansas. Grandma and Grandpa, how we doing? We've got Carolyn Cochran Wilkie. 
that's always the – it's not a joke, but I always say that we do this for Grandma in Arkansas. Just And it's arbitrary, but now we got Grandma Wilkie in Arkansas legit. So you're, <laughs> you're who I'm talking about, Grandma. That's what's up. Round Valley trailing by three now. So quick the points turn around. Big hit. Nice. Oh, that right on the line. Nice. nice job by Liv Proc now. Yes, Liv. Good job, Liv. I've got an advantage. I have m most of these girls in class. Not all of them. but Currently with an 87% on her last assignment, <laughs> Liv. <laughs> Could use a little work on algebraic equations. But nice serve. Nice. Kind of caught that uh, the shallow player a little flat-footed. was... Kind of in between spots there. Well, that's where I think speed and spin factor in, yes. right? You catch them off guard, the ball's going to bounce in a way they don't anticipate it. You no, know, they get sometimes that, like I said, the ball float on them, so they have a hard time to re reading what's going to happen, and it rides up on them. Set by Addison Martin. Nice in. hit by uh, Yamas. Nice hit into the hole, but Sholo as well not going for it. They thought it was going to be long. Stayed well in play. That's Leah, Leah Yamas. Uh, her and her older sister look enough alike that I have to had to read the roster to see which one that was, Leah or Bella. So we're going to have to try to find out a score for the Lady Elks soccer playing right now against Chino Valley. I saw a little earlier today uh, the NFHS stream link get put up. I didn't know that's who they were playing, but I went ahead and reposted it. So uh, we'll see if we can't find out how the Lady Elks are doing. I think, is that a 6 o'clock game? You know, I am know? not sure. I just knew that it existed. So there we see a lapse in communication, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. A little sure. bit of break down there. The girl's not quite able to keep it going the way they were wanting to. And a very good serve by Sholo. Yeah, very good. Nice job, uh, the Martin girl, kind of trying to settle her teammates down, tell them it's all right, just keep your heads in it. Because it's only a matter of seconds. You have to get your head right. You have to get right back into the game before it's time to, yeah. to go right back to it. I will tell Grandma and Grandpa it. You've got great kids. We enjoy that, that your family in this community. The Martins have really added to our family or to our community here. Absolutely. I'll second that. Nice. See, now that one I think was going to be out. I think it was going to float out. Sholo does bite on it, though. We were able to get it back over, though. That was a serve by Haas, correct? Yes, yes. friendly. Very nice. Oh, nice. Nice job touch. on the overpass. Oh, oh into in the, the net. net. Nice touch. Nice reaction to the overpass, though, there. So, uh, I know players love those. They hammer those home. They overpass. The opposing team overpasses. Sorry, we're all playing a couple different roles today. We're working that situation. So once again, guys, hit that share button. We are live on Facebook and YouTube at Let's Go Elks. Want to know that the Cougars and the Round Valley Elks alike catch this action. We're here for the freshman JV and the varsity senior night. We're here for the next few hours as the Round Valley Elks host the Sholo Cougars. Nice set right there. Nice. Nice hit. Rolled over the net. Tied us up. Oh, nice, nice serve. serve just dropped as it came over the net. Just almost had a backspin on it, it looked like. Nice hit. Nice. Round Valley taking the lead, turning it around 14 to 12 here in the second set. Hit it where they ain't, right there in the middle. There's a hole there. Hit it where they ain't. Sounds like that needs to be on the back of a volleyball T-shirt. Yeah. That's uh, I picked that up from uh, baseball. Oh yeah. Uh, yep, yep. Very much a baseball term, but yeah, I've always thought it fits well for volleyball.
Oh. Out. Riley almost bit on it, but knew better, pulled her hands away. Aren't those momentum killers, Katie, that, you know, the miss serves, unforced errors? Absolutely, for sure. Lamas with the serve. Nice serve. That's for over. Nice job nice on the overpass. Seneca. Nice connection by Seneca yeah. McCall there. Leah Yama set that up, that hard, deep serve. I send Jet down the other side to get some of Sholo serving. Now Round Valley's dominating on the <laughs> service side. Poor kid. I'm just going to have him running around all day. Nice attempt by number six there for Sholo. That's Amberlynn Amber Lindsay. Lindsay. Yes. We only have one set of rosters. I apologize. We're juggling stuff, trying to look back and forth. Timeout. I didn't see what team that was, though. Sholo trying to stop the Round Valley momentum here. Oh, here. Let's do this a little bit. Very nice. So I just bent over and picked up a nickel. Oh, now that's a Sherwood nickel. That's a Sherwood nickel. Tell yeah. us the story there, because I see it on Facebook every now and then. That, that means Grandma Sherwood's here, and she loved volleyball. So that's, right. a good, that's a good omen for Round Valley. Grandma Sherwood's here with the Elks today. And I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a Sherwood that I know. Yeah. And, and, but <laughs> yet when I see a nickel on the ground when I'm running or something, I think of her. Absolutely. Um, she left that there for you, Wes. The, but the Sherwoods, big, big part of my family's family. My dad, when he moved to this area, he actually lived with Larry and Mary J for a while, and they really helped him um, kind of di get dialed in in the community. And so great people, great part of our community, um, your family there. Thank you. Round Valley Oaks leading by four, 17 to 17-13 in the second set here the freshman game. Nice serve with a nice return. Very nice set. Oh, Ooh, miscommunication yes. right there too. Addison able to get it there, get flipped around in time. Shola will take the serve there. Oh, good for Jet. All right, here, let's switch over to Jet. He's got this serve here. Number 10 for the Cougars, Cora Stock. That's the thing with volleyball. Usually it does end up on the other side eventually. Nice pass. Yes. Oh, Ooh, a little long. Get out. Too, too many Wheaties on that, that hit. Speaking of your grandmother, your her Mary Jane, my mom, were on the same bowling team when I was a little kid, so, and I would ride to Sholo. So my grandma them. was a bowler. Like this, this th I learned about that. Bonnie was a bowler as well, and this was a thing. Like, yeah, I bet as she women, with my grandma. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I, they may have been on the same team. Yeah. So my question is, Katie, where where is this? Are you going to bring back <laughs> this bowling thing that used to happen? Like we got to save Ponderosa Lanes, I guess. They've been struggling right. with COVID. Oh, my grandma loved to bowl, and she was good. That's mm -hmm. so she could funny. She could beat any of us. But I, couldn't, I couldn't say. I was too young. I, I just remember being in the back seat of the car on the floor half the time driving to Shulo in the middle of the week on day uh, for daytime bowling league. Yeah, That's so sure. funny. I love it. I think my mom still has my grandma's bowling stuff. Nice. What's that? Used to be, there used to be one in the bottom of the Seneca McCall serving for yeah. Round Valley. Round Valley leading here in the second set by two. Really close game. Yeah. I think Sholo woke up a little bit or have found their momentum a little bit because this is a much tighter game. Nice serve by Seneca. Hit it, Olivia. Oh, nice, nice cross-court hit. hit. Oh, Ooh, that might have been out, but we're playing it. Number two, we're just going to get it over. Ooh. Now set, we'll see. Nope, right over the top. Nice, nice. play for the Elks. Good Ziggler, take, yeah. Uh, Danny just reminded me there used to be a bowling alley here in Round Valley. There where the XA is. Mm. In the basement, there uh, there were lanes there where Boca Jacks is as well. A little basement there bowling. There was? Yes, my dad was a pin setter. So How long ago was that? Well, my dad was five, six years old when he was a p or seven, eight years old. He was a pin setter. Wow. So, you know, it was a full automa automatic pin setting. Had to so set him up. Yeah, he'd have to set him up between every frame. Timeout. Yeah. It was like little one or two lane. One or two lanes? Three. Three lanes. I yes. have no idea. Yeah. Is it still there? The, the lanes? Yeah, they're Are still they? there. It's wow. not. It's been years and years. I mean, before my lifetime since it's been used. 
Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Coach Knight, the JV coach, uh, his her brother-in-law uh, owns that building. When they were re revamping it, when they bought it several years ago, he uh, they mentioned that to me. And I said, yeah, I knew that was the case. Because like I said, it, my dad worked there. You know who just got done revamping their building is Trail Riders. Oh. They're back in action again, another sponsor for Let's Go Elks. Love Jody and Melissa. I haven't been back since they've reopened. Oh, nice serve there. Good serve by Seneca. So they're not quite full capacity yet. They've still got some tables coming in and some things, but they are serving their menu, and it's great. I announced at the football game they were going to be open late, thinking they would, and Jody texted me in a panic. We already shut the kitchen down. Stop. <laughs> so I had to let them know. But when when they get back up and running, trail riders um, typically will stay open late after the home games to let the away team get something to eat. Um, before we had the live stream set up that takes forever and a year to tear down, I take my boys for a brownie after the game. Serve into the net for McCall. She, the, her prior serve, though, she had another strong serve that put us to 22. Kylie Finch coming in for defensive purposes here. Does our freshman team have a libero? I don't oh, think so. Yeah, I haven't seen don't. it this game. No, we don't. It's Is that a like dedicated? It. That's the jersey of a different color, correct? Or yes. I assume that. And yeah. what does that person do? Back middle all the time? And she can rotate in. She's not tied to somebody. Yeah. She can rotate okay. in any time and just be there to pass. Yeah, and there's a it's one of the jobs down here is a libero tracker. I've had to do that a few times, and they can. There's a certain rotation that they have to go in to to do that. But uh, and is there any restriction on this player? They they can only have to go in for the same player or two. They they can you can have a three man rotation. You can have two centers and one libero, and she's continually rotating in for those players. Can a libero serve? Yes. yes. They only play back row. Yeah. Okay. They cannot attack in front of the three-meter line. They have to stay behind three-meter line for the During attack. active play at all? Yes. Okay. And they can't be set up for a typical – they can attack, but they can't – it can't be part of a set play. They can, um, if the ball comes to them on third hit, they can hit over. So match, match point match right point. here. Sorry, Courtney Baca with the match point for the freshman game. Sorry to cut you off there, Steven. No problem. Six. I just wanted to say match point like I knew what I was talking about is all it was. <laughs> Courtney Bacco oh, with the nice serve. deep serve. Shola with the return. Here's number three with over. Nice high oh. set. Oh. oh, just a little bit off timing wise. Yeah, nice set clear across the court there. 24 20, once again, Round Valley in a defensive win play now. Their point would come from a defensive point with a substitution coming in. 13 for 11. We've got, is that Anna? In the game for number 11. Round Valley with the return. Set across. Got to stay focused here. So, oh, nice, nice hit by Brindley. Net. Sholo in the net. Oh. Round, Round Valley in the net. So it'll be 24 21 points issued at that on the whistle, or is it just another serve? What did she call? 10? Uh, 11 called Addison. Oh, I thought she said 10, yeah. Addison. Oh, nice. Nice attempt there. Saw the hole in that back corner. Beautiful. Oh, a little. Oh, oh, miscommunication there, too. We need to get better get some focus there. Make a little rally. We're up 24 to 19. They cut it 24-22. So Round Valley with a timeout there, I think, trying to get things together. A couple more opportunities for that defensive point for Round Valley freshman to take the win today. Sholo definitely has the momentum right now. Quick shout out to Whitney Wiltbank, Randstrom and Wiltbank CPAs. If you need somebody to line you out that way, if you've got a nonprofit, if you just don't want to deal with your checkbook, go talk to Whitney. They also do um, wealth management and planning. And they also have leadership development, which is something that a little bit outside the norm you would think for a CPA. But go check out everything that Whitney's got there. And by the way, they also want a ranch. So they've got CPA services, and they're also um, – Dude ranch. Yeah, they got Sprucedale. So yeah. 
Check out Whitney, Wiltbank, and all the fine folks there. Nice set. Oh, outside. Cello coming on, 23-24. This is where we need it, right here. Get it out of that tie situation. Up, nice. Number two, let's see if we can connect. Giannis, cross court. Okay, I'm just really realizing that's another Brown Valley connection, number six, who just served for Sholo. That is Sid Udall's granddaughter. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah, I saw them come in earlier, so. Oh, oh. Sholo's gonna tie it up. Now is it an advantage situation? Is it first to 25 or is it win by two? Win by two. So this, another tennis parallel now. Yeah. We're evens at this point. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is Amberland. Yes, for you tennis folks, this would be a deuce situation. In. Oh, nice. Good. Advantage round valley. Yes, nice play there by Addison. Caught him off guard. They thought she was going to set it, and she tips it over instead. That was a nice, nice play. See, this is where I want to yell and scream. Yes, so if you do, just turn your mic down so you don't hurt anybody on the live stream that may or may not have headphones on. Oh, Round Valley's nice. going to take it, ladies nice and gentlemen. Nice recovery for Round Valley. With two sets, Round Valley going to take the win. So, Katie, time to get super sophisticated. How did Round Valley take the victory? What was it that won it for them today? Man, they served really well. Did we even serve one into the net? I, maybe one, one or two. Seneca had one that I, that yeah. I can remember. She had those two at, nice serves, then put one the in the net. At the freshman level, if you're getting your serves over, there's a good chance you're going to win the game. There's Consistency got, factors. There, there's a sure. JV player down there making hand signals to one of our announcers. Oh. Wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Family-friendly appropriate, that I hope. Would be yes. My daughter. Yes. <laughs> MK down there saying, hey, Mom, pay she's attention a, to me. She's a tad embarrassed that I'm doing this. <laughs> yes, okay. So we need to know three embarrassing things about MK whenever you're ready. Or you can stretch them out. Or 3% or whatever it may be. No. Uh, no, that is my goodness. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that nickel was left here for her. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, she, that's who she's named after is Mary J. I I kind of made that connection in class, but I haven't said anything to embarrass her. <laughs> but I kind of feared that's probably where it came from. Yes. A good person be named after. Yes, it is. Yeah, you know, we have the mic here, too. You can hit that button um, right there. All right, so your Round Valley JV lineup. Let's take a look here. We got Macy Soderquist, Haley Jaramillo, Jalen Marble, Lauren Bates, Kayla Logan, Jalen Wright. We have two Jalens. All right, Riley Haas. We got MK. Seriously, what was in the water? Allison Muth and Riley Hinton. Your Round Valley Elks on the Sholo side. What do we got? I'll let you do that. Oh my. We got Colby Healy. We got Emma Lewis. Ailey Garvin, Arcelia Pena, Kayla Cook, Kaya Crofter, Kobe Healy, Kaylee Warwick, Kinsey Brogan, Lily Grant, Sadie Hall, coached by Coach Mariah Cook. Oh, no, coached by Katie Klein and managing by Mariah Cook. So you're Round, you're round Valley and Sholo Junior Varsity getting warmed up right now. So will we wait until 5 o'clock? Will they give them all 12 minutes before we start the JV yeah, game? We yeah. might even start later than that. Volleyball warm-ups. Are on the clock. Prima donnas. <laughs> yeah. No. They have a certain set time structure for the warm-ups so that everybody gets proper warm, warm-up time. And they haven't started the clock yet on the warm-up, so it'll probably go be a little after 5 before they get going. So you're telling me I'm not getting home when I think I'm getting home tonight? No. Unless we get a three-game sweep tonight. <laughs> yeah. And talk to varsity, I was looking at the rankings today, that loss to Snowflake, even though it helps to play those successful, uh, strong teams, how the power rankings work, a loss hurts more. And so we've dropped from about fifth to ninth coming into tonight's game. Wow. So the varsity really needs this win tonight to move up into that top eight uh, going into state. And if if I'm correct, if you're in the top eight, you don't play next Tuesday. Is that correct? Um, if they're keeping with the 24-team bracket like they have in the past, that'd be the case. Okay. They would get a bye if they if we can get back up into that top eight. 
we and didn't have a strong schedule. Our opponents weren't real strong. The next, our the next opponent that we have in the rankings, I think, is San Mc St. Augustine, that was 18th. So we need. And I may have overlooked St. John's. I've got to double check that. I'm not sure where St. John's is ranked. But. And what is our? What was the canceled St. John's game? Was that soccer? Soccer. Oh, they that replayed that yesterday. In fact, one two one. There we go. I saw Coach Morrison here a minute ago and didn't have time to ask him. So, uh, again, uh, we should take a second and see if we can find out what's going on in the Chino Valley Round Valley game here. Let me see if I can kind of figure that out while we're going. While we're doing that, we'll talk for just a second about Booger Eds, another one of the fine, fine parts of the Let's Go Elk sponsor family. Um, I have a three-rule thing when it comes to Mexican restaurants, and the first thing is chips and salsa is the quality of their chips and salsa. Yes. And Booga's passes the test for me. I like me some chips and salsa from Booga Red's, even so much it's a problem that I probably should never order dinner because by the time that dinner gets there, <laughs> nice. I'm already well and done um, from a carb and coma perspective. But Yeah, they have a good one. Uh, my wife's the same way. It, and it's a it's the it's the slam door test. If if they don't have good chips and salsa, we ain't going back. Ooh. Probably, you know. Uh, so, all the restaurants here in town pass that test pretty well. So, uh, and they're all different. I think that's yes. interesting. Their table sauce is all very different. Mm -hmm. um, Trail Riders has its own. It was it was great to get to go back to Trail Riders because it's been a minute since since we had some of that goodness. So, thanks to the Madriagas, to Booger Reds for all their fine food. They have stayed open for most of the pandemic, the struggles that we've had this year, and uh, nice to be able to get some takeout, nice to be able to go see them when we could. So go support when you're in town. Booger Reds, make sure you get an extra heaping of chips and salsa while you're there. Um, get yourself a cheese crisp, put some salsa on it. Anything they got, their tacos are good with salsa on it. But as long as you get salsa, no, everything's – I don't think I've had anything there that I wouldn't order again. They they honest. have, you know how I created the one thing uh, at some restaurants. They have it on the menu. They have a Southwest chicken fried steak on the menu. Oh, with the with the green chili. With the on green it. chili instead of the Mormon gravy. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's so good. And even put it on the mashed potatoes. So you go Mormon gravy. Of course, we got Molly sponsor in the live stream as well. Molly Butler's got their steak with the Mormon gravy. I, I will battle anybody that says Fruits of the Forest isn't the best thing on their menu. Oh, That's my it favorite isn't. Dessert. It isn't, Wes. Stop mud pieing. Mud pie. Over there, mud Stop. pie is the best dessert that they have. Oh, Sandy yeah. and Irene, though, amazing people, really, really big supporters of Round Valley and what we're doing. And so a huge thanks as well to Molly Butler's and just the, the good food, the good stuff they've got going. they got lunch hours right now. Check out their website. Find them on Facebook. Um, we went up there for lunch. I had some work to do up there, and we went and had lunch with them on Saturday. So they have a different menu for lunch, but they've got some good salads. They've got some good burgers. Uh, you can even get an XA burger. You can get a locally sourced burger uh, from South Fork if, if you'd like. So go see the fine folks at Molly Butler Lodge. I worked there for years. Really? I love Molly Butler. So what's the best thing on the menu or that's not on the menu that you can get there? They have any secret, secret menu items? If they do, I've either forgotten or I never knew about it. <laughs> so I, I know there's got to be off-the-menu items at Pop Shop because I, I hear people order the most random stuff there, and there's not a it's name totally for it. It's just here's the 9,000 things to substitute in. And so, yeah. Katie, what's your go-to drink when you go oh, to the, the Pop Larry Shop? Larry Sherwood, for sure. Obviously. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not called the, like, I don't know if I want to cuss on the live stream, but if I was going <laughs> to. If I was going to name a drink after Larry, it would be like the damn it, right? It would be a, that, and that'd be a Dr. Pepper with some stuff in it, and it'd be, For but sure. no, but the the Larry Sherwood, that's awesome. I have another swear word I would use for him that I know is one of his fr fa favorite phrases, but I won't use it you on know, the air. There, so. there, are, there are only so many words that you can tell a cow, okay? Yeah, and so <laughs> that that is my excuse. Or if you're putting up a fence in this uh, fence, br the wire breaks on you, your wrench comes loose, uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. pliers come loose. Smashed smooth. fingers can only be described in certain ways. So many ways, ways yep. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, we called it, he wasn't known as the cussing bishop for uh, no reason, you know. Uh, uh, he's, when he, he said something at church one Sunday, and it was so funny, and I, I thought the person conducting was going to was wishing the floor to open up and swallow him up. But, <laughs> uh, it, was, it was quite funny. But, yeah, 
what is in the Larry Sherwood? Oh, there Getting we back go. Back to his original it's question. Like a dirty Dr. Pepper. Okay. Oh, Dr. talk Pepper. about a drink just got taken out by a volleyball. That's just sad. Oh, like they, they can just go to the pop shop. It's just down the road. Yep, Carrie, and her, Carrie and her people are open right now. Go see yeah. them at the pop shop. My wife drinks the whippersnapper, and for some reason, half of the time I can't remember that word. It just What's disappears. But she does Did like a – oh, it's it like a sugar-free it? mellow yellow or Maybe something. Like She does Let's something to it, but it's more now. or less the whippersnapper. But I don't okay. know. My kids like the dome. William always has to get the dome when we come to the dome because he laughs. He's like, Dad, look, I'm in the dome drinking the dome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. My kids love the wizard. The wizard, yep. Yeah. Steven likes Trophy Wife. Yeah, the Trophy Wife, and then there's actually one without a name. She cl thought about naming it, and when she redoes her menu, she might. But it's uh, Mountain or er, Mellow Yellow, okay. excuse me, with uh, with pineapple and grapefruit and raspberry. So we got a Mellow Yellow with pineapple, grapefruit, and raspberry. If you're watching the live stream, what does that drink get named, people? Or if we need to add something to it, let us know. So sure. in the comments, tag the Pop Shop. Let us know what it is, and the next time you go in there, let them know that Let's Go Oaks sent you, and you want to get the X drink, whatever what, it is. What, what we talked about, she asked me, so I said, this is really good. I tried it the other day. She said, what would you name it? And I named it the, I suggested the Sweet and Sassy. Sweet and Sassy. Because, okay. I mean, it really, the, the grapefruit is tart enough, but it takes the edge off that sweetness, so it's not so overpoweringly sweet. It's like yeah. olives on your pizza. Apparently that's a thing. Dan Muth told yeah. us that's why you put olives on your pizza because it calms down no, the spiciness. Well, that I thought that was Ethan. Dan Muth isn't a fa fan of olives on his pizza. I don't know. I he? just know Ethan thinks you that are? girls' soccer is the most yeah. violent sport in the world. And yeah. so that's a whole different conversation <laughs> right yeah. there. But Way too much fun talking about random stuff. But a huge thanks again to the Pop Shop, another one of our sponsors on the live stream. I want to make sure that we give them as much love as we can because – they were, they're kind enough to support us over and over again, and that's how we, we have what we have. That's how Jet's down doing what he's doing. It's because of fine sponsors like Katie and everybody else that, spo that support Let's Go Elks that make uh, these live streams what they are. Our, our mantra is something better every time. Find a better way every day. And every stream we do, we try to find one new thing to do a little better, a little different. Jet with his mobile camera is one of those things, those Hollyland crazy antennas are a thing. Um, the headsets that he's wearing are something that we've done to improve. All of our camera crew have, have walkie-talkies now where they can communicate, where we can kind of collaborate the shots that we're gathering. And so um, every stream that we do, one thing just a little bit different. It's because of the amazing sponsors you're seeing on the screen uh, is the reason that we can do that. So thank you for supporting us. We, we really, really appreciate it. So we've got about two minutes on the clock, and will then we rotate, or is it two minutes in game time? I bet we have a rotation left. Yeah, Round Valley hasn't hit. Yeah. Yeah, we still. So we're volley a little behind. Volleyball warm-ups take forever. <sighs> yeah. So Round Valley. Thought football players were prima donnas. <laughs> now here we are. Well. So Round Valley will come hit, and then there will be a serving session, and then and game time. Then game time. I'm getting it down. I do lines at the JV volleyball game or the junior high volleyball games, and so I've kind of figured it out. Hanging out with my wife at the high, uh, when she coached high school games and watching my daughters play as well, so kind of get into the rhythm a little bit. That reminds me, I probably should let my daughter know that we're streaming the volleyball game tonight. She. You talk oh, about traveling? Uh, yes, I miss traveling. So if you're listening, if you hear us call traveling at the football game when it's a legal procedure, <laughs> they do that to humor my daughter because the first one of the several years ago, she came to a football ga high school football game with me, and they called it a legal procedure, and she's all traveling. And I'm like, no, that's not traveling. And so we kind of poke fun at her, at, uh, have one traveling call every football game in her honor and so <laughs> miss traveling that's a good one I'll have to let her know that so one of our other sponsors to give a little bit of love to is Dr. Winslow McNeil one of our chiropractors here in town 
Um, he's got a cancellation list that if their schedule's completely booked up and you need to get in a little bit of adjustment action, just let them know, get on the phone with them. They will try to get you in if they can. They've got some walk-in times throughout the week. But Winslow's got a number of different things that they can do to get you dialed in. They've got some electrotherapy, which I absolutely love on my lower back. I don't know what it is about that shock therapy, but it just feels like a deep tissue massage. Mm-hmm. massage. <laughs> and I, so I, I love it. And so go see Winslow if you need a little bit of an adjustment. Um, we saw Shola with a big adjustment in the freshman game, and it almost cost Round Valley that second set. But Round Valley was able to stick with it and dig in deep and, and come out with a two-set-to-zero victory. Uh, any predictions on the JV game? Round Valley will win this game. Okay, fair enough. I like I like where we're going with this. I haven't watched the JV play, uh, so I couldn't I couldn't venture an opinion. But I know they're pretty good. I'm, have they lost yet? JV. Yes, they lost to Snowflake. Snowflake that's week, right. But that's their only loss. That's right. I remember. I actually watched it from across. Because we're doing the soccer games. So. so have you guys seen on the JV level a lot of these different teams that we've been playing because of COVID and the teams that we've had to play? Has JV also been playing a lot of those games? Have you guys been making the Tucson trips, Katie, and yes. that kind of stuff? Yes, we have played in Tucson twice, I believe. Um, How's that been um, – we talked to Coach Donaldson before the season started about how it can be good because you have no looks. Like, there's no preconceived notions. There's no worries. Oh, no, it's X team. You know, it's this thing. You go into each game with just a little bit of film, but mostly just going to get the jobs done. So, in Tucson, we traveled five hours and played about 30-minute games. Yeah, because we just blew them out. We just blew them out. And I don't know if that's worth it to take kids out of school and make them travel for 10 hours on a bus to play 30 minutes of volleyball. The benefit, though, as a coach and player, is it's a time. Bus time can be bonding time. You know, you can really build that chemistry on a bus trip. It's definitely an educational (laughs) experience. If (laughs) If it's anything like high school football bus rides, it's definitely an educational experience. But I know, I know, on those, they definitely tried to do double headers where they could. Right, they, they did for the varsity, yes. The JV didn't do that, but yes, they did for the varsity. That's just and we couldn't go. They, those teams didn't let, allow spectators. Actually, I think on the varsity level, they let... Oh, oh glasses in the face. Macy Soderquist to Jalen Wright. Uh-oh. I'll have to ask them about that first period tomorrow morning. She's not going to remember went. your class. She's not going <laughs> to show up to first period tomorrow, Stephen. I missed that. Oof. That was a solid hit. Glasses came off. Yeah. <sighs> that was That's one of the worst feelings. Before I had contact. So I went and got my sports physical for seventh grade football, and I was told that I was blind and I couldn't play until I got glasses. But who kid plays? what kid plays football Wanty? with glasses? Want these? <laughs> trying, trying to get Katie's mom here to... I don't know if we could handle. Spot. I don't know if we could handle the Kathleen Katie combo. I don't know what we'd have to get Gary Davis in the mix too to balance it out. There would, but she told us on the way by we couldn't handle it, and I don't doubt that at all. And so, I don't know. Just weird day. It's election day as well, by the way. Not to get political or bring any of that up, but on top of everything else, do you want me to go there? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but I just I, no I hope everybody. What we think about the election. I, I hope everybody exercised their right to vote. Wherever you voted, however you voted, you voted early. I voted by mail a number of weeks ago. Whenever I got my ballot, um, Me too. which is just it's just hard on any normal day. Um, but there's something neat about going to the polling place and actually voting in person. But voted um, early ballot. Per, what is it? Permanent early ballot voting. Whatever it is, I'm I'm on that list, and so. Um, Hope you did. Hope you exercised your right to vote as we shape the next couple years of our nation here. And locally as well. We had some school board uh, positions up. We had lots of different things come up. There's a couple state deals. And so do that. Do the thing that is voting. And so I made the joke I was going to bring up, like, um, exit poll results in between games and stuff. And <laughs> I just don't know if I could. I can barely control Dan and Steven as it is. If I started bringing up polling data, we'd be, we'd be in trouble. We would nerd out. Probably talking about the statistical side of uh, polling the and data. stuff like that, and yeah, and then we would make some oh. inappropriate comment and get us in trouble. And oh man, 
we get to talking about pizza and it gets political. Uh, is we can't we can't even talk about the pizza that no. you guys want to order. I don't even know. Yeah. If you guys go political, I'm going to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> There, there are certain types of pizza that we, uh, some of the crew like that me and Mr. Is, Moose. Is pineapple and pizza, is that political, Katie? Is that too much for you? I can see, handle that. You, see, <laughs> see me, me and Dan call that communist pizza. See, I try, to, I try to pull away and I try to get away from the conversation. Stephen finds a way just to go ahead and make the comment anyway. Yeah. That's, this, is what I, this, is, this is what I deal with. On, are you on, a pineapple pizza fan? No, I just tried to talk about hot pineapple on pizza to deter the conversation from where it was going. But, you know, I I like, so it's like olives. Like, I will get a supreme pizza if that's all that's there. I will pick the olives off, but I like the flavor that, that an olive will put on a pizza. And there's something about sweet pizza, like I'll do ham and pineapple. I'll pull the pineapple off, but I'll, then I'll eat the ham. You like the juice. I'll eat the sweet. Like, it's there. But there's something about just the consistency of hot yeah. pineapple I'm just not a fan of. Yeah. So, and that's where Why I Why are am. we talking about pineapple? Right. I, don't, I don't mind the flavor, but it's the same thing. At chewing a cooked pineapple or even just pineapple, it's just that chewy. Uh, I just don't do it very well. You know what is good, though, is the dole plantation on Oahu. Uh, go uh, go uh, there. It is delicious. Go there and eat all of the things. Yeah. Yeah, please. Huh? Yeah, that was good. I had no idea that it took like a year for a pineapple to grow. What, one or two years, isn't it? Right for a pineapple to to get all the way. Forever, yeah. It's nuts. The we are ready to play. The Dole whips. That's my favorite. Whip. You know, go to Disneyland or whatever and get that Dole whip with that pineapple fl flavored ice cream. That's pretty dang good stuff. This guy suckered me into helping him tonight. We're live. <laughs> yeah. You can watch it tomorrow or tonight. You can go to YouTube and watch it uh, rebroadcast. You know. you know, we should get her on the football broadcast on Friday night, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Katie's Aunt Tana just stopped by and said hi. That's who we were visiting with just now. All right, guys, we're going to rotate things up here in the JV game just a little bit. I actually want – I'm going to take the camera down for a little bit because I want to see how hard it is. I know it's hard what Jet was doing. I'm going to see if I can avoid getting hit in the face with a, with a ball. So I'm going to go down to the bottom. Um, two teams waving to each other. Very nice. Is that a tradition? <laughs> no. They used to clap hands. Hi. But that's, that's a COVID thing. That's a COVID thing. Yeah. They can't get past the three-meter mark. Is what's going on. They can stand face to face at the net, but they can't. Clap hands. But they can't I go don't and get it. shake hands. The rules don't make sense. Like the we're able, we're able to play. Right. Yes. Bottom line, I'm glad we're playing That's football. Right. I'm glad we're playing what we're doing, and That's so right. yeah, for the AIA to be able to say this is what it takes to have a game, whether you follow every, we're in everything, we're playing. You know, and that's that's great. So already, one volley in, and you can tell that they're just turned things up a little bit from freshman to JV. For sure. The intensities. And are we going to see that happen again to the varsity level, Absolutely. Katie? Absolutely. We also, though, do have two freshmen on our JV team. How are we doing here? Oh, uh, we got Tom Hunt on here. Hang on, I'd switch to it, but we're in the middle of a game here. No, no, no. don't switch to me. You want a headset? <laughs> I'll give you a headset. <laughs> nice rally, that. That ball right there, it came wide of the of the net, and so it landed in, but it was out because of the angle that it took. Allison Muth with the serve. Allison has a deadly serve. Okay. Deadly. Oh, I see that. Yes. Nice deep serve, a little bit of top spin rotation. Was that my kid? That was yes, it kid. was. Deadly serve, Allison. So who is that number two, the libero for Round Valley? That is Riley Hinton. Okay, and yes. she's a freshman? She's a freshman, yes. And from Alpine. A, a very good job. Her dad is our high school basketball coach. Yes. Oh, nice big block. Oh, go after it. Nice reaction there. Number seven for so Round Valley. Who is that? Um, I don't know 
know their numbers. Oh, that is... Uh, Lauren, Lauren Bates. Yes. Oh, okay. And okay. she's also a freshman. She's also a freshman. She plays varsity time as she well, does. doesn't she? Yes. start saying what they're doing <laughs> wrong. Hey, that's the uh, nature of a coach. <laughs> nice hit, Riley Haas. Out. So a little known fact, I guess the Alpine Junior High Volleyball program is actually very a very good program and an excellent feeder program for what we're doing here at the high school. Yes. Yeah. Uh, is Megan the coach up there, the... Uh, that, that one of their teachers up there, and I don't know if she's still teaching up there, but she was the NAU volleyball coach. She was the NAU volleyball coach, and uh, her husband, she got married, and her husband's a rancher, has ranched in this area, and they moved to Alpine. Um, we've been trying to get her for years, for several years we've been working on it. I'm trying, to th I'm trying to think what her last name is. But yeah, she, uh, so I don't know if she's coaching up there. She taught, she was a teacher in Alpine for a few years, but I'm not sure if she's still doing that. Uh, my wife was here, she could answer that question for me. Nice serve by Sholo. Nice little roll shot there by Riley. Oh. That was going to be close. Oh, over the net. I learned something this year. I thought I understood that, but the whole foot has to go over the line. I learned this year. It's, if a part of the foot's on, it's not. Touches the line? The whole foot has to be over the line for it to be called, right? I know. I think if it goes over the line at all, it's. I could be wrong. Danny, come back to this one. Marble serving for us. Coming into so. set. Nice serve. Danny, come back to this camera, switch it. There we go. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, touch. Mm. Nice hit. Work it. Sholos likes to work across the middle, don't they? Yes. Nice. Oh. Good, up, good effort getting it up. This girl has a good serve for Sholo. Number what number is she? Two. Two. Emma Lewis. Oh. I spoke. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she lost her balance a little yeah. bit there. and Kind of got caught in between a standing serve and jump serve or bad toss, something that looked a little awkward. Oh, nice, nice serve. serve. from Alpine with a killer jump serve. I like it, Wes. I got you up right now. Oh, that's going to be out. Shellos is never really able to form an attack there. I'm going to keep going to you as she serves.
Long, no tip. Little fun fact, or the line judge, one of their responsibilities is to be watching for tips uh, to help out the main officials. Another good serve. Yeah. Oh. A reach in. Yeah. Shola will be serving. Libero is there in position. Yeah. Communication breakdown there a little bit. Kayla Cook for Shola will be serving. Nice pass right there. That was set up by that pass. Yep. Nice soft pass. Gave the setter time to get under the ball. A good hit by Macy Sotoquist. Yep. Going back to U.S. That's got to be a familiar face, huh? Yeah, and there's Mary Kate with a jump serve. Oh, nice serve. Back over to Ground Valley. Oh. oh. Just rolled oh, over the net. Oh. Ground Valley lets it drop because of miscommunication. Number six for Sholo. Ryan Clough. Nice hit by Macy. It's out. Both teams, some substitutions here. Number eight for Sholo as well as Libero. So she goes in. That middle goes in, and Libero comes in for her. And we've got Kayla Logan in to serve on Round Valley side. Oh. A nice serve. When you played, that would have been a carry. Yes, it would have. Yep. You know, a that's lot of things have changed over the years in yeah. volleyball. You know, that's uh, another thing that fans sometimes don't understand is that on that first hit, all rules, not all rules are off, but that carry or double hit that you're, you may have played Plus, when you're in school. A little bit, you're picking no up longer Coach applies. Knight. Talk to each other, girls. Oh, a nice hit by number 11, uh, Kinsey Brogan for Sholo. Nice strong hit. Holly Garvin will be serving for Sholo. Nice job staying on that ball. I'm with you though, you hit the ball, hits net, I'm like, oh, that's her, still right. that, that mentality yep. from years ago. Yep. Now, if you can almost get to where you're good at hitting that net, that's the best serve yep. you can serve. Yep. In the net by number 13, point for Round Valley, keeping this three, four point cushion. Here comes in Moose to serve with the wicked serve. Ah, dude, now you're on the wrong side for my kid. <laughs> <laughs> so you hear some of these comments. It's uh, Danny talking to Wes, trying to negotiate some camera positioning. So he's trying to do double duty a little bit here. I'm sure Allison got her volleyball playing ability from her dad. Nice hit, Riley Huss. That would be a negative. <laughs> Allison Muth is an extremely good softball pitcher. And it shows in her arm when she serves the volleyball. She is a strong girl. Ooh. Not, oh, oh, just wow. out. You know, Allison works hard at her softball game. She's got two loves, softball and volleyball. Not necessarily in that order, but <laughs> those are her two loves. Does she play basketball or does she take basketball season off to work on the other things? She used to play basketball. I think she's going to take this basketball season off and concentrate on her pitching. Okay. Try to get ready for the high school softball season. Nice hit there by Sholo. Nice little offensive attack. Number 13, Sadie Hall. 
was a good hit. And they've got Kaylee Warwick serving right now. Ooh, that was in. Ace by Sholo. Right into that back corner. Oh, I got to sit down for a minute. My back's killing me. So peek over the top. Oh, oh. Sir, volleyball mid court. Yeah. Too bad. Uh, well, Shul that have been a point for Sholos yeah, and reserved there. Oh, nice block there by Sholo. Nice placement there by Haley. Haley Harmio, she's coming out. Mary Kate is in. And we've got Riley Hinton serving. Big hit. Nice swing. You tried to block it. No success. Yep. We've got number one for Sholo serving, Kobe. coming in for Round Valley, Marble in to serve, and Jalen Wright in on the net. Nice serve by Marble. Nice block by MK. Oh, nice scramble by the Cougars Round to recover. Out. Good play by Round Valley. Yeah, you can just see the little growth between the freshman to JV, for you know, sure. the just the athletic uh, plays and the speed of the game a little bit. For sure. That is wide. Went around the antenna here. That's also the line judges make that call yes. quite a bit because it's tough for the officials on the yes. net to see that. I didn't see it from this angle. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Oh. oh. Has the Bates girl played with him JV all season? Yes, and she also plays varsity. Yeah. Timeout by Sholo. See, I wasn't sure if uh, maybe that was some of the communication errors, if she had just been part-time here. No, she's, she's played all year, both okay. JV and varsity. All right. And it is absolutely freezing up here. Do you want this? No. I'm pretty cold. I'm pretty hot blooded, no. so. No, but it is cold up here. I'm looking forward to watching a little bit of the varsity play. Uh, I've heard a lot about them, and uh, my wife loves watching uh, Carly Hawes hammer away. She Carly. just loves how she oh. swings. And her and um, Shiloh McCall have gotten a rhythm this last half of the season, and man, they're fun to watch. That's good. And then you've got the Merrill girl that also yes. hammers. hammers yes. And, and yeah. Um, oh, yes, the, the Bates girl, yes, she said. Yes, Lauren. Yeah. Lauren also hits the ball very well. No, for, I mean, she's just a little pile, pack of dynamite. But she's yeah. not that big, so to be, be able yeah. to hit like that, that's yeah. impressive. Marble still serving. Touch by MK. Good pass by Marble. Oh, that was a nice little teamwork right there, back and forth. Ooh, that 
looked out. Yeah. I was lucky for round out. That's one of those was the coach yeah. just trying to grit your teeth like, oh, yeah. that would have been a point. Yeah. Then a game like this, you need – well, round Valley's opened it up a little bit wow. here. Yeah, that – that reaction cost him a point probably right there. Marble still serving. It's on the net. Good job, Round Valley, keeping that on Sholo's side. Two points away for the Elks, 23-15. Marble again with the serve. Her name is Jay Lynn. I call her Marble because there's two Jay Lynn's. Nice. Oh, nice. Mary Kay. MK with a nice little put away on that overpass. Those are my wife's favorite plays when she played was that overpass. She was overpass. middle as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think. She may have been outside here, but I think she is middle. I think she was too. I was too old. I, don't, I didn't even know her at the time, so I couldn't tell you. But I, you robbed the cradle, did you? That's my students uh, think when I tell them that she is in seventh grade when I was a senior. So uh, <laughs> then I have to explain I did not even know her until after she graduated <laughs> from high school. So, oh. oh, there we go. That is the set. 25-16 for Round Valley. That's good. So what do you think? I'm thinking Round Valley looked a little bit tight in that first set. They yeah. just didn't look like, they looked like they were playing not to lose and not necessarily playing to win. A little conservative, I thought. I'm going to say that the JV team plays that way a lot, yeah. these girls. Yes, yes, it's I would their, agree with that. It's in their head. As a dad, I would agree with that. Yes. Because they're, they get, they're very cerebral, this team is. Yes. And a lot of these girls, I've coached in different sports since they were little, and they've always been that way. Yes. Always been that way. Yes. They need to grow out of that before they hit that varsity level because they get it gets in their head and uh, Heidi Marble and I when we coached them in junior high would say you look like your dog just died <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I you know in softball when I coached the same group of girls in softball in junior high we I could always tell how the game was going to go based on who scored first if they got oh, yeah. behind, they started to get tight. They yeah. started. They were always between their ears, and yep. it was very hard to get them to relax and just play. Yes. Yep. And they always play better when they're smiling and relaxed yes. and yeah. just. Yes. Yeah. When their dog didn't just die. Right. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. You know, I coached girls freshman basketball for years, and there are times I literally called timeout and told a joke. I remember with Shiloh Donaldson and. Brooke McCall, Brooke uh, Cattell, and those girls were freshmen. I did that, and they were like, "That was the dumbest time out." And I said, "You guys got to smile. If you're not smiling, you're not playing." And so, I definitely a different feeling, boys and girls, uh, uh, court-wise or whatever. They've got girls have to be smiling and laughing, feeling oh, yeah. relaxed. Or, uh, I can't tell you how many times I'd call timeout in a softball game, go out there whether it's Allison pitching or Kayla pitching. I'd go out there and say, "Hey." What are we eating for dinner tonight? Where do you guys want to go after the game? Yeah. And what? Well, no, where, where are we going? Coach, no, where are we going for dinner? Yeah, anything to get their mind off of the game yes. and just relax. Yep. Yeah. These, just. these girls definitely play with, with their heads sometimes. Yeah. Get a little down. Well, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just when you do it to the point to where you get really tight and mm -hmm. bound up, you can yes. just – you can just tell when they get tight. And it's like, guys, relax and just have fun out there. Yep. I mean, they just won that. They just came back and won that set. And, you know, now mm -hmm. they're starting to relax and have a little fun. You got Logan yeah. smiling. You got Jay Lynn smiling a little bit. MK's doing some kind of snap thing there. So they're starting <laughs> to relax, you know. Yeah, you can just see that there's grins across the board, you know. Well, I think it's true in all sports. You know, if the players just relax and play their game and not let the other team get in their head, yeah. you know, especially as they get older, the psychology of the game becomes more and more of a factor. When they're younger, you know, the games are pretty predictable. But now, as they get older, the mental game plays as much part as the physical aspect of the game does. 
I'm thinking I can go over there and shut that yes, door. Yes, would you? It's freezing up here. Like a full-blown wind. Yeah, we've got a we've got a cold breeze in the dome tonight. <laughs> blowing down the necks of our shirts. It's a little rough. It's cold. I feel like I'm sitting in a football game. So it looks like we've got a rotation question yeah, by our official and coach Knight. So they'll be walking over the table to discuss it. I'll cut to cut to the floor and see what's going on there. Whether Coach Knight wrote it down wrong or Lisa's reading it wrong. But our rotation is not how she wanted it. All right, looks like we are set. Libero's checking in now. Haas is checking out. Looks like Logan will be back to serve. See if we can close it out in two. Nice serve by Kayla. Great round valley. Yep. All, all set up by that nice deep serve. Yep. Yeah, it looks like Sholo getting hung in the net just a little bit. Logan with the serve. Oh. Nice, another nice serve. Yes. You know, what I like about she went deep the first serve, then that second serve was short, so it keeps them off balance. Yeah, they can't get used to positioning. She's good at placement, Kayla. Oh, oh, oh. that was going to be tough right there. Looks like number 10 for Sholo will be serving Kaylee Warwick. I believe she's the one that got most of their points last game. Oh, I see why. That is a tough serve right there. Really tough serve. Ooh, in the net. Oh, oh that's legal now. Oh. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> is. It is. Off the Keep, foot. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see it a lot, but occasionally it happens. Yeah. yeah. The so old soccer player came out in her right there. Uh, right. Last time I saw that, Shiloh McCall did that for a match point in eighth grade in Snowflake. <laughs> Are you serious? I am serious. Ask her about it. She'll be more than happy to tell you the story. That's hilarious. That's oh, good. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. She called it out. That was a close one. She had to think about that yeah, one for a did. second. Yeah. Uh, Macy Sotaquist serving. She's still thinking about it. Having been that line judge, you think about those close ones for days. Oh, and she serves oh. it out. Macy's got those hard serves, but they tend to go a little deep. Yeah load out a little bit, don't they? Nice pass by Riley Hinton. Good set. Kevin Nett. Shola was in the net. I didn't see oh, must that. Have been a, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yes. That's what Miss Lisa called. So. Our meal's checking out. Looks like Haas is checking in. Libero's back to serve. That was a libero rotation right there. Uh. Nice hit by Sholo. Good dig by our oh, setter, Kayla. Nice Kayla. pass. Oh. Oh. Looks like Bates was back just a little bit to make that work. Yeah, timing just a little off. Emma Lewis for Sholo serving. That's out. Yeah, that one floated on her just a little bit. Yes, it did. To use, I'm going to start using your terminology. See, I'm learning as we go. <laughs> all right, we've got Marble in to serve. She served all those points to win the set last game. Had a cool senior night moment. McKinley Haas showed up. Carly didn't know she was coming. Oh, she came that's down cool. from Utah today to to support her to sister. Support her sister. That's awesome. So, is it is it a distraction or is it harder on the defense when you have a left-handed server? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, nice up, Marble. Oh, nice there. Nice play there by Haas. I was just thinking maybe the spin of the ball might be different or 
Um, her spin is definitely different than the other girls, that's for sure. Well, you normally see that out of a southpaw. Yeah. The, the, it's just something in the way they hit the ball. Yeah. Oh. Our serving's really putting Sholo in scramble mode there. Having difficulty setting up a good attack. Well, nice you can you can Lauren. see it when they try to pass. Yeah, the ball just comes That's off out. their hands. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Then they're scrambling the rest of the point to try to get back in rhythm. Marble still serving. Shola with a nice pass and hit. Ooh. That was going to be right there at the line. Yep. That was a good, Another close nice one. hit. Yep. <laughs> it's hard for the line, line judge. Line judge calling that out. Yep. And there's a hush passes over the yeah. crowd. <laughs> Wes is. He's right here. So He's sitting down on the box. So you, do you follow the. Yes, I am. Marble again with the serve. If you come in tighter on the server, that'd be great. Oh, nice pass by Marble. Oh, oh. little miscommunication there again. Ten to five. Rotation. Substitution by Sholo. <laughs> Carly just saw. Oh, her uh, sister. Yes. Oh, there's a nice hug going on over there. Out of rotation? Yep. Round Valley's rotation is confused. They've got it figured out now. I still, that's the one thing I haven't figured out this modern game, how the rotation works. My wife tries to explain it to me, and I think I got it figured out, and then I don't. It, it a, is a tougher. A, when a girl is used to a certain rotation and it gets mixed up, it's confusing. And it looks like Round Valley thinks we're right, but that's just how we were lined up before. I don't know what she's saying. Yeah, that's what Robert just said. <laughs> One of our fans. That's how we were, exactly, yeah. Well, I guess they've, she's okay with that now. Good pass. Hit that, Riley. There we go. Round Valley. Got a substitution move coming in to serve. Her dad just called her baby cake. She didn't hear that, but. <laughs> Oh, see that? Oh, it's wicked. That was a wicked serve. Her serve is wicked. So did we fi they get the yeah, they, rotation she, figured they, we, out? They did the exact same thing as the time before, and the refs seemed to be okay with it. So I'm not sure what was the matter last time. But look at that serve. Oh. Good Here, job, Allison. Going to open this up a little bit, give us a little cushion. Yeah, she's got a killer serve. Timeout Debbie. by Sholo. Debbie. Mr. Muth, tell us, does Allison play softball with most of these Sholo girls? Uh, you know, Notorious is kind of taking a break right now because okay. a lot of the girls have aged out into the 18U. Okay. Um, right now she's playing with a team out of Mesa called Vendetta. Okay. Uh, Vendetta Brimhall. He's one of the Brimhalls from Snowflake. Okay. And she's pitching for them. Uh, so, but a lot of these girls know, know her. They played softball together. Yes, they've yes. they've either played against each other in school ball or with each other in Notorious. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, 
So they know how strong her arm is. <laughs> they know that <laughs> they know she's going to compete. Yeah, for sure. So they look a little uh, scared when she gets up there to serve. But I, I would be scared if she was serving at me. So. Well, she's she hits deceptively hard. Yes, yeah, she does. And you just you just don't know where or how or or yeah. how hard it's coming. It's just like a a jet. Yeah, I got you. Really? Oh, another Another nice serve. serve. Yep. Free ball coming from Sholo. There we go. Good communication there. So we'll get to see Muth serve again. And Round Valley coaches have a little grin on their face. So Marble, Muth, and Logan seem to be the hot servers right now. Yep, they sure do. The last three points have all come from the back row for Sholo. I mean, they they haven't been able to get a good attack. Free ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a good play by Round Valley. Yeah. All Shola set wasn't up. able to return yeah. it. All began with that serve. Sub for Sholo. And Moose still serving. Yeah, I'm gonna get you know I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get some chat from her after this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, both of our kids are not gonna be happy with us probably. Another I'll, good serve by I'll Allison. talk you up in class tomorrow. I'll let them know <laughs> that you guys uh, praised him well. <laughs> we could have fun facts about your daughters that you could share. You know, uh, no, re- no, really no, get no, them in trouble. No. You know, really get yourselves in trouble, you know. No, I've been placed on a gag order. No family <laughs> stuff. Round Valley trying to return it, but can't return that good hit by Sholo. That was nice, Wes. I got that almost save. Number eight, Kia, I think is how you say it. How you say I'd that? say Kia. Kia for Sholo. We're out of rotation again, darn it. Something's not right. Darn it, we're all confused. Nice tip by MK. Get the serve back on our side. Got Riley Haas serving. Come to you, Wes. And Hallie Harmio coming in on the net. Oh. Oh, I thought they were going to let that drop. Yep, just about did. Setters out, Mary Kate with a tip. Good pass by Allison. It's over, setters out. Mary Kate setting. Nice hit. Nice hit by Macy. Thought they were gonna let that drop. Yeah. That was a nice hit by Macy, put him in trouble. Very good hit. And our setter taking some good digs right there. Yep. Riley Haas still serving. Oh, nice deep serve. I like that deep serve. Nice hit by Sholo. Oh, another good pass. Good up by Riley Haas. Let's have a hit, Macy. Back hit. Oh, and that's out. A little bit long from back row. Barrow's coming in. Shola will be serving. Number three, Allie Garvin serving for Shola. Good serve. Good pass by Allison Muth. Nice hit by MK. And a good set by Jalen Marble. Got Kayla Logan coming in to serve and set for us, and Jalen Wright on the net. 
Oh, nice serve, Kayla. Our setter's out. And a hit by Oh, nice Hallie left handed hit by Hallie. Yeah. Nice hit by Jalen Wright and a good set by Kayla. But Sholo cannot return. Is Hallie left handed? Hallie is left handed as well. We've got okay. two lefties on the team. I wasn't sure if she's left handed or if that's out of necessity that she. No, uh, she, she's a lefty, which is really nice on the net. Nice serve by Kayla. Sholo can't return. Kayla serving again. Oh, that's over. Oh, good job, Allison. Right there, getting it back over. Kayla Logan still serving. Nice pass by Allison Muth. And a hit by Macy. Ouch. I'm seeing a pretty big hole right now that Sholo's got to dig their way out of. Yes. Pretty big one. Yeah, this would be a pretty tough comeback. We've got number 10, Kaylee Warwick serving. A good serve. Oh, oh, and Round Valley gets it over. That was scrappy right there. Oh, 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 oh. oh nice. Oh, man. Good job, Round Valley. Nice scramble there. Nice up. Right here, Macy, get it. No, I got it. Got a good volley going right now. Oh, oh nice. Solo pulls it solo, out. Oh, number 13, Sadie Hall, finally ends it. That, that was a good volley. Lots of scrappy volleyball right there. Still have number 10 for Solo serving. With a good serve. Oh, that's a nice serve. I thought yeah. it was going to go in the net. And a nice hit by Macy. Good set by Kayla Logan. Short set by Sholo. Oh, and we can't return it. At number 13. It's pretty effective on the net. Sadie Hall. <laughs> nice pass by Allison Muth. And a oh. good hit by <laughs> Macy. Sharp angle on yeah. that. Our setter's out. Tip. Oh! Good dive by Kayla Logan. They're digging. They're digging. They are digging. Yeah, we need to shut this Riley. down right here. Oh, oh. Speak to each other, girls. Nice hit by number 13 again. Tip. Oh, she's not back and ready. I'm going to go to a crowd shot. Are you on jet? I am. Go ahead. Oh, oh. they hit it into the net. You know, something I've learned to watch volleyball, sometimes it's the rotation. You know, that one team has advantage over another Absolutely. on that rotation. I'm on you. I think we're kind of in that spot right Absolutely. here. They're kind of making a little rally here. Yes, they are. Oh. Time out. That's a good time out right there. Yes, it is. Didn't wait too long. Definitely a momentum shift here for Sholo. Have our cameraman Jed over here trying to turn the karma around in our favor. So, yeah. All right. 
Wes is out on the court getting some cool shots. We are doing our best. <laughs> I might be failing a little bit with the switcher, but I'm doing, I got you some nice shots of the dome ceiling earlier. <laughs> so. Round Valley needs a side out right here. Number 10, Kaylee Warwick is still serving for Sholo. That's wow. out. Ooh, that Round Valley will take that. Yep. Timeout did its job. Got Lauren yep. back. Jet's in little juju room. over here uh, broke the momentum. <laughs> Got Macy Sotoquist serving. Oh, nice Good serve. serve. Yep. Yes. Double hit by Sholo. Now it's on the second hit, not the first, that was called. So Macy's got a little bit of a knuckleball serve herself. Yes, she does. She's a good server. Oh. Nice. There we go. That's oh, that game and match, that's the match right there. I missed that, saying hi to the Whites. Well, the JV team, even though they had some rotation issues, pulled that one out. I called it. Yes. I called that we would win that game, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. 2-0. Yes, Let's do the same thing for varsity. Cut away from me. Let me know when I'm out so I can get back up top. Coach Haas hobbling over here. So I'm not going to lie. I like it when we go 2-0. I like it when we go 2-0 yes. oh too. I, as exciting as the game threes can be, I just rather go two. Just two yeah. and zero, oh, get it over get with. Get it yeah. over with. That that game Keep three. Keep the momentum. Fifteen point game. I mean, just too much that can go wrong in a that shortened game. Well, in I'm still, you know, <laughs> rally scoring. It just I know it's here to stay. It's not going anywhere, but I like it. I love it. It's, it's I. <laughs> I know it makes the game faster, but why not just say play a 10 point game and go back to the old side out way? Oh, uh, no. Nah. Uh, I don't know. What's that? I like it better as well. Are you ready? Oh. All right, I'm going to cut out and give this thing back to Wes so he can join you. Okay. You got to turn it back night on. Here so hustle in the down. Dome. And it looks like they're doing that before the game. Yeah, go down. We're going to do it right now. Oh, sorry if you guys can hear me right now. We're trying to get everything ready. Get down, and you're going to want to be on the other side. And go ahead and get in the middle. Just don't get in front of everybody. Sorry for everybody that's hearing me right now. We're juggling a few different things right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to senior night. Round Valley won this two sets for the first two games, right? Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, how about your Lady Elks so far tonight? Two sets for the freshmen. Two sets for the JV. There we go. We have one and a half fans in the stands right now. <laughs> Where's Jet? There he is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for senior night. We have three seniors to honor. Please help me welcome to the court Kennedy Bell. Kennedy Bell being escorted by mom and dad, Amy and Brian Bell. She's been playing for four years. The things that she remembers the most are all the times that they beat St. John's. Yelling beans and cheese with Carly and playing with her girls, especially all the other seniors. 
Her plans are to move to the valley and attend school and be an ultrasound technician. She loved playing these last four years and is so grateful for all of her coaches, teammates, and her parents. Ladies and gentlemen, Kennedy Bell. Ladies and gentlemen, now help me welcome to the court, Carly Haas. Carly being escorted by Robert and Marcy Haas has played volleyball for four years. Her favorite memory is going to Tucson for back-to-back -back games and staying in a hotel with the team, eating pizza, swimming, and laughing the entire time, and beans and cheese with Kennedy. She, she was recognized as all-region first team regional player of the year and honorable mention of all 2A. Her plans are to go to college and become a CRNA or a nurse anesthetist. She'd like to thank her parents who have always pushed her to be her best and for all the support they give her, along with her coaches, friends, and families who have helped her throughout her life. Ladies and gentlemen, Carly Hawes. Your third senior being honored tonight. Help me welcome Belle Walker. Being escorted by Billy Joe and Landon Walker. She's also played for four years. And her favorite memory is going to the Valley for a tournament, eating pizza. And that time they all looked at Jessica and she was choking on her pizza and they couldn't stop laughing. What a good teammate. <laughs> she got MVP freshman and sophomore year. She's going to go to college in Utah and become an x-ray technician. And she'd like to share that she reached her goal, which was to be libero for four years of high school. She'd like to thank her family, her friends for supporting, especially mom and dad, and all the big thank yous to the coaches for leading us in such a great season. Ladies and gentlemen, Bell Walker. One more round of applause for all of your Round Valley seniors. Ladies and gentlemen, the seniors getting recognized this evening. Sorry, we're pulling like double and triple duty here. Honoring the three seniors that graduated this year. Kennedy Bell, Carly Haas, and Bell Walker. We're going to get varsity warmed up. We'll get back to the action here momentarily. These guys are over here telling us the weather report. We'll go to Steven for the weather. <laughs> so, guys, totally different running a camera, especially down there, trying not to get hit with the ball, be in the action and stuff. Give me a recap of the JV game. How did things go outside of my viewfinder? The Round Valley serving was dominant. Um, had Muth and had three girls that really did a good job of serving. Um, I just drew a blank on their names. Oh, you got well, you got Muth, uh, Sodaquist, Logan, and yeah. Marble. Yes, the top four servers in that set. Yeah, and they they were dominant. You know, Shola was on their heels all all match long. Um, even when they did get it back, they were scrambling most of the time. They very few sustained attacks because they were scrambling because of those hard serves by those girls. Well, in the spins that those girls were pulling off with those serves, I mean, that was that was something that, you know, I'm sure a defense just cannot set up for. Yeah, very much so. I, You know, volleyball is a mystery to me because I don't – it takes a lot of skill to set up the hit in the pass to get a ball that's spinning out of control to where you need it to go to get it to your teammate. Oh, yeah. Passing is an art. It's more than just stepping in front of the ball. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy to see, you know, in our service how they would set up for the pass and then that ball would take off left or right or go straight back into their face. Or, yeah. And I know that's got something to do with the spin that the girls are putting on it, but it now is the spin something that you teach or is that just a is it, that just a benefit of the girl serving? As far as I know, they don't really teach them that. It's just 
hit the ball and you know they develop the girls figured out themselves a little bit hey, if I do this it's gonna put a different spin I know my daughter liked to do a uh, roll serve she called it it's called hit top half the ball and it just generates that uh, top spin uh, you know and kind of a drop ball over the net you know but the girls figure out how to hit that at the same time hit the um, knuckleball you know you yeah. know how to hit it where it'll just float across the court it, it's wicked uh, being the line judge at the junior high you, you get up close and personal on some of those and you can see those girls fight and try to get their feet set in the right position to get that pass because that ball's doing all sorts of funky things that's coming across at them yeah so Stephen, what do you anticipate out of this varsity match tonight you know our girls have been pretty dominant they, they had they're only lost to Snowflake, and they had two. The first two games were came down to 25-23, 26-24, something like that. But they they're they're very powerful. We have some great hitters across the front. Um, Katie was telling me earlier that Shiloh and Carly have gotten in a great groove, and they just really have a great attack going with those two. And then you have Mackenzie. Merrill, along with the Bates girl, and just we have some great hitters across the front, and they're fun to watch. They they get up and they attack the ball. They hit it hard. I, I see three three zero three one tonight. Uh, I really think we got it going uh, this year. Well, Sholo's bringing. They're gonna. I know they're gonna have Wallentine and Addie Clark on the front row. Those girls are tall. They've got a great court presence as far as volleyball is concerned. I, I look for them to play tough at the net. Uh, they've got a, a a sophomore at Libero in Hannah Buckles. So, you know, I look for them. I look for them to move around quite a bit. Uh, but I think it's going to be Addie Clark and Wallentine is going to be the two names that you're calling most tonight. They, uh, and Sholo is fighting for a playoff spot. Uh, they, they need this game tonight in the worst way. So. Oh, really? Yes. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. They, so has Snowflake clinched the 3A East then? Um, volleyball is using strict power rankings as far as I know. So I, I'm sure they have. But that is pretty much meaningless. It just comes down to their ranking um, for oh, the state. So um, some of the other sports, they went, were going back to the old version of having, you know, the region winners and things like that. But volleyball, as far as I can tell, is purely uh, power rankings. Now, give me a moment, and I will look and see where they're at. I uh, they had that going earlier tonight, so I'll try to get on the 3A. Get the look here at 3A rankings. And so if I'm not mistaken, we're actually in the 3A South. We're 2A. Or 2A South. 2A I'm South. sorry, 2A South. Uh, we've got that one. And then for rankings, we're ninth. We need this win for seeding position. If we get in the top eight, then we get a first round bye. Oh, so okay. So our varsity needs to win this, try to uh, get up our ranking high enough, get in that top eight. 3A, looking through here, Blue Ridge is at 11, Sholo is 17, trying to find Snowflake here. Snowflake is two. I'm trying to tell, I'm <laughs> Yeah, in 3A, Snowflake's uh, number two, so they're clinched. They're number two seed going in. Uh, Blue Ridge is at 11. Sholo is down at 17. So I'm not sure if 3A is taking 16 or 18 or 16 or 24 teams. I'll have to go in and look at that. Still about 12 minutes out from the game time here.
So 3A looks like they're taking 24 teams. Um, first round is the 14th. Oh no, that would be wrong. There's 16 teams they're taking. So the top 16, Sholo currently is 17th. So they need a win tonight um, to try to sneak in. So they're playing for their playoff lives tonight. Uh, they're 17th and they're only taking 16. So lead C, and you want to look at 2A, see what they're doing for playoffs. See if they're doing the same thing. See if we get a two, uh, if we're playing for a bye or not. So 2A does have a conference play in. But I think by being first, we are okay. Normally the first place teams are excused from that play in round. No, it is by seeding. It is by seeding. The play in round is by seeding. So yes, we win tonight. Hopefully we can get back in the top eight. So right now we're ninth, so we would play in the play in game on the Next tenth, Tuesday. On the 10th, so yes. Win tonight would be huge for us. Does that list the locations yet? Um, it's the high seed, so it would be a home game okay. for us. Okay. Um, so that's not necessarily a bad thing to you know, get another home game in, but um, fewer games you play, the better. You don't have to worry about, about things. So. so if we win, we get a bye. Is that what you're saying? Potentially. Okay. Uh, a win could put us in the top eight. Okay. Uh, but it depends on not only uh, our win, but the teams around us. Okay. Um, we are about, no, oh, three quarters of a point behind Glendale Prep. Okay. They're number eight at 10.5, and we're nine at 9.8. So, ladies and gentlemen, while we're in the midst, we've got the lights going down. Man, that's going to change things for us from a camera perspective. We're about eight minutes away from the varsity game going right now. Hey, actually, if I was halfway smart at what I was doing, I would click the button that I can't find where you can actually see us. There we go. All right, so Dan with myself. Guys, one other, one other sponsors that we wanted to give some love to tonight was the McCall family. And, Dan, so in your line of work, you do surveying. And how would they interact when, if you needed the McCalls, besides if I needed a big dump truck, needed something moved, what would you work with them in doing? What does a service like theirs provide? Well, if they're bringing, if they're bringing in fill material uh, for like a job site, if they're hauling, say, AB for a road or, uh, or aggregate base for the, you know, the base course that goes in the, below the asphalt in the parking lot whatnot, uh, of course, I'm providing the cut fill, so I'm literally telling everybody how much to bring in. Okay. And then it's up to them to calculate the tonnage and then haul it. So, you know, if you've got a site that, say, the site, you know, 30 by 40, let's say, and it's a fill of a couple feet, then they would calculate the how many yards that is, and then they would go pick it up and then bring it in. So, uh I, you know, as far as as far as the haulers go, I don't have a lot of interaction unless they're actually providing the AB as well. Gotcha, gotcha. So, so something else that these guys do, McCall Hauling and Dirt Works, our septic system installation or repair, which I would imagine for some of your new things that you're surveying, new places, septic system or um, sewer, city sewer is not available very many places, and so you're going to be putting in a fair amount of septic systems on these new builds. Well, I've been getting I've been getting more and more calls as we get people moving into southern Apache County and I've and I've been searching for people that do septics. So I've been, you know, since they became a sponsor, I started putting them out there uh, about hey, here's another provider of people who build septic systems for you. Uh, you know, one invaluable service 
is perk testing. I don't know if they actually include that in there or not. They'll arrange it. If they, yeah, it, well, even in the arranging, if they could do that, that would be awesome. Because right now, what people need are perk tests, septic systems, and wells. Okay, so. and they'll they'll do that, and they'll do brush removal and clear things out. So I would imagine part of your surveying, leveling things, getting things nice. They're going to come in and clean things up, so you can start. They'll get the road to your property. They'll do all the site prep that you need. They'll haul aggregate like you were talking about, gravel, sand, rock, and dirt. And with the crazy weather that we've been getting, that's got to be ideal right now that you're going to see that, yeah, you do need a little more gravel than you had before. Oh, yeah. Well, a lot of these people are buying into these really rural areas, and they don't understand that that nice dirt that they've been driving on turns into goo as soon as we get moisture. So, you know, any gravel that any gravel needs that they might need, uh, site prep for building and construction foundation work getting the pad leveled for a house things like that yeah i mean mccall's the place to go sounds like they're a one-stop shop now right on so sponsor new sponsor to the sponsor family sponsored some football that we had last week we wanted to give them some more love this week so you guys if you need some love in that department septic systems what? if you need some fill if you need some more dirt and gravel you're going to want to call mccall hauling and dirt works you can find them on facebook as well but just give them a yell uh, Thank you for sponsoring and being part of the Let's Go Elks family of sponsors. And so, guys, we are – the six-minute timer hasn't started again, so Round Valley is going to get their turn at hitting, as I understand it, to get warmed up. We'll call the ladies out, and then we're going to start our best of five, first to three situation in the varsity contest. And so – I'm hoping it's a three and out. I really am. Well, I would too because <laughs> I'd like to go – I'd like to be home. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. It, you know, these weeks are – these weeks are starting to all bleed together. I – I had no idea how much work went into all of this. Whose idea was it to stream soccer and volleyball, by the way? I Whoever, it let's. Hey, you know what? It doesn't hurt to give everybody a little love, kind of broaden our horizons a little bit. I, I absolutely <laughs> wanted to. It's just, and, and it, but it goes back to us talking about needing a little bit more, needing a few more people, needing a little bit more love. Talking about some love, there's the McNeils right there. Mr. Winslow McNeil, how you doing? Hey, there you want to jump Winslow on the microphone McNeil. for a minute? Come on. So, Mr. McNeil, huge sponsor for the Let's Go Out sponsor family as well. White Mountain Chiropractic right yeah. there on the stream. You can see it serving us since 2006, last 14 years. Go down and see them at White Mountain Regional Medical Center's uh, Rehabilitation Center. They got around the back there. He'll get you adjusted. Um, I know it's right on the nose and it's corny, but whenever whenever we see a big team, a big play that's an adjustment, I always think of Winslow McNeil. I hate chiropractors, but <laughs> but but I will go see Winslow, and that's that's my plug is that I, I I have to qualify that I am not a fan because there's just something about especially my neck situation, but Winslow takes care of me. He's he's helping me feel a little less stressed about it because there's nothing like going in there stressed and then having people adjust you and it doesn't help at all it just hurts because you're just tight and tense and everything and so uh, white mountain chiropractic another one of our amazing sponsors let's go elks i guys i can't say it enough times we're so humbled by the support that we're getting this community rallying behind what we're doing and so a huge thanks to all of our sponsors new and old for helping make let's go elks happen each and every stream and so thank you and guys if you're watching the stream whether you live here or not you got family here or not you want to thank us, go patron our, our sponsors. Go give them some love. You need an oil change, you go see Aaron. You need a good steak, go see Molly's. You want some tacos, we got, we got trail riders and boogas in the house. And so, guys, there it is right there, Cameron McCall, like we were just talking about. If you need a property taken care of, see Mr. McCall, 245-0684. Guys, we are just a minute away. I'm going to have to switch mics because we're going to try to call the ladies out for the varsity game. So we'll be right back with Let's Go Elks.
Oh. oh. We're going to need to adjust the lines for this, Mr. Stafford. Oh, either. Hey, are we the parent-teacher committee called? Yeah, we're going to take the ball. Uh, ball was that a parent-teacher organization? I can't remember. Yeah. Guys, we've got a big sale going on up here as well. If you need your snack, you need some good stuff, come up here and just deliver the big sale. Goodness. The round by parent committee. Ladies and gentlemen, please ready for some volleyball cards. Help you welcome to the court the Storlo Cougar Housing Team. Number one, Hannah Buckles. Number two, Haley Gibbons. Number three, Madison Taylor. Number four, Natalie Hall. Number five, Emma Lewis. Number six, Kaya Number seven, Jocelyn Garvin. Number eight, Shea Perez. Number nine, Kyra Brogan. Number 10, Tayan Wallentine. Number 11, Addie Clark. Number 12, Paige Garvin. And number 13, Sadie Hall, your Sholo Cougars. How about your Round Valley Elks? Number one, Shiloh McCall. Number two, Belle Walker. Number three, Medea Wood. Number four, Kennedy Bell. Number five, Jessica Soderberg. Number six, Lauren Bates. Number seven, Kyrie Walker. Number eight, Kayla Logan. Number 10, Mackenzie Merrill. And number 11, Carly Hawes. Led by Coach Donaldson, your round, Valley Elks. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please stand. If you'd please stand, remove your hats, and look up behind you for the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for some volleyball? All right, all right. Sorry, I'm juggling microphones, juggling. I don't even know what, but we're getting ready. You're around Valley Elks getting ready to take on the Sholo Cougars. It's senior night, ladies and gentlemen. Danmuth predicted a three-and-out situation. Katie Hunt, what are you feeling? What are you thinking? 
I think we're going to go three and out, too. Three and out so I can get my bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's that's my prediction, too, but I'm going to hand this over to somebody who knows a little bit more about the game than I do. Yes, make me feel even less qualified to have a microphone in my hand. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome to the live stream Andrea Pena. How are you doing this evening? I am doing fabulous. I just finished my junior high volleyball practice, and I had to hustle on over here so we could watch this last senior night game of these awesome volleyball varsity elves. You guys are practicing in the afternoon now. We are this year. No more early morning practices. Wrestling is in the morning this okay. year. The past couple. Yes, yes. Wrestling's at 515. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm taking my son there, too. It is bright and early. Or dark 30. If, one you, of the two. if you are, too, we should carpool there. We should figure that out a little bit. Hello. I'll kick Rustin out. You can run him over or pick him up. One or, your, one or the other. One or the other. I like the thought of that. All right. Here we go. So varsity changes between JV and freshmen. Is it just the number of sets that we play to get to a win, or are there other yes. differences as well? No. No, that's, that's the only difference. So, Shello just. In. So, Shello broke our serve, and now they just got an ace right on that back line. And they are cheering. They're excited. Here we go, Alex. They're backing up. They're getting ready for those deep balls. So, question we had earlier, Andrea, is is it an ace if somebody makes contact, or is it only if it touches the ground without a contact by the defense? It is supposed oh. to be only if it touches the ground. Oh, Alex, we are not passing very well today. Here we go. Come on, come on. Um, but sometimes we get excited, and if they shake the ball, if, if they touch it and it goes out of bounds, then it should be called a shake. But sometimes we get so excited, then we sometimes call it an ace. But it is only if it touches it the touches. ground. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, nice pass. Here we go. We're going to do something with a good pass. That's set. Go. Oh, Looking beautiful good. pet hit, Carly Hawes. They dug it, and here we go. Nice pass. Set by Shiloh. And Again, yes. nice offset there. Okay. Very Car nice. Carly is so good at placing the ball. My heaven, she's good at A little bit of misdirection right there. So I was telling Katie that I saw a big difference from freshman to JV, and you can already see the intensity change as well from JV to varsity yeah, now. Exactly. For sure. Yeah, yeah. They are faster. They get down and they cover. So, so they're where they're supposed to be, where the ball nice more than likely is going to go to. Kinsey. Oh. So that was an overpass. Those as a hitter are your very favorite because the ball is coming to you from the other side, and you can usually get a really, really beautiful hit off of those. Carly Hawes serving for the Round Valley Elks. Nice jump. Oh, well, jump serve into the net. It looked good. <laughs> it looked good to me, and then I started to say that, and it went right into the net. So yeah. that tells you where I'm at with the volleyball situation, <laughs> ladies. Shola to serve. Elks trail by two. So we have our libero. That is Belle, who is in the pink shirt in the back. Deep, deep, so she can get all of the deep balls. Nice, nice hit. Hit. Kinsey. hit. Kinsey Merrill right there. So, libero, is that is it from another language? Does it mean something, <laughs> or is it just the word we use? Good I'm, question. I might have to Google it. You I'm going to have to do some Googling right here in a second. <laughs> That's, I, yeah, sorry. When it comes to sayings and stuff, I love to hear the origins yeah, to, to find yeah. out where stuff comes from. I'm looking it up. Right now. Nice, tight, easy tight, tight. set by number three there. Maria Wood. Back set. Kennedy Bell got a kill Very nice. of that. Well done. So they weren't expecting us to go backwards. That was a nice way to mix that up. Smart play. Round Valley turning the momentum around really quick. Now tied up 4-4. Wood to serve. That's a nice top spin on that serve. And it, she, the setter dumped it over. Nice pick nice up by play. Wood there. Nice hit by Kinsey. Got a kill from Mackenzie Merrill. Good job. Good job. So we talked lightly in the freshman game that when you see servers lining up in the middle, it allows some variance in their serve. Is that a, a lack of confidence, as it were, somebody that's just not as strong of a server will serve in the middle, or is it just how she serves? Do you know what? I, I recommend that every one of my servers serve from the middle um, because then the, the passers, if you serve from one corner, then it's kind of harder to hit a line, and it's easier to hit cross, and so they know that's more where you're going. So if you hit in the middle, then you can easier go to corners or straight. You, you can place a little bit easier. And a good server will be able to place that ball in certain positions. Kennedy Bell got that set. And nice hit again by Kinsey. She's doing really oh, good. Oh, good save by the by libero. Shola. They get it back over. That was a great hustle play. Those are some of my favorites. And set another nice Merrill. set pass. She is good. hitting it Copy hard, and paste she? right there, right back right? in there. <laughs> Seriously. Sorry, Ditto. I'm a computer nerd. <laughs> I was going to say Again, ditto. see? Oh, but a little off, oh, little off speed there. The yep, she, she was. was. In the net. Yep. I believe that was Lauren Bates with that last yeah, hit, unfortunately, was. in the net. Mm 
Libero means free. Free. She has unlimited substitutions and wears a different oh. color jersey. Free. Libero, free, libre. That there makes a lot. Th that makes go, a lot of Wes. sense. So there's there some, some language there. Well, thank you. Now we all know. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> I want that the Channel Eight Rainbow thing. Star. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice set there. Set. Oh, a little miscommunication there. Set to their right side, and yes. she missed it. We'll take it. So now the score is Round Valley 7, Sholo 5, and we get a substitution. Jessica is in. Well, it's kind of like Round Valley weather. The score, just wait five seconds, it'll change. It is raining outside. <laughs> is it raining and right it now? And it is 60 oh degrees. Wow. I hear we're supposed to get snow on Monday again. Oh. Miscommunication by Sholo there. They let it drop on their side. Oh, two people right there could have gotten it and just let it drop. Those as a coach are those are frustrating plays. So how much of volleyball is is staged plays and how much of it is just dynamic knowing what they need to be doing as players? So varsity, if you lots of times say, okay, if we get a good pass here, you're gonna give me a short shoot set. And Carly Haas does those really, really well. And they will talk to the setter. But lots of times it kind of depends on the kind of pass that you get. So yeah. that one was not a very good pass, and so she had just one option. Another kill by McKenzie. Because you have certain games like football that are extremely structured, extremely coach-led, and then you look at soccer and you see just the dynamic nature and the strategic nature for soccer, and I feel like volleyball is somewhere in the middle of that, They're that it's a, mix, yeah. a lot of in the moment. Okay, so the, so the ref called that a double hit. And so, point for Round Valley. It is now 10-5. Round Valley leads. Nice deep serve. Those deep serves are usually harder to receive than shorter ones because they're going behind you, and those are harder mm -hmm. to give, get a good pass. And you've got to be thinking in the moment Time as well. In the moment, you have to be saying, do I go for it or not? Is it on the line? Is it not? Like, spatial awareness has to factor in That's huge. Right. That's right. So we got Jet Hamblin down there on the radio. I hear Dan Muth talking to him, trying to get some shots. Huge thanks to Legacy Teen Center and the lodge that we're getting right here by the school via Teen Center for the Round Valley community. I'm we're excited for that. We're, we're working in collaboration with them and with the high schools. We build these partnerships to try to make Let's Go Outs a little bigger, a little more, so we can bring you a little bit more. Um, Dan and I were just talking about how we're almost running ragged at this point. It's soccer, <laughs> it's volleyball, it's a football game. There's something every night. <laughs> it's homecoming week, you know, and just it's just crazy. And so if you're interested, if you have a desire, um, whether you want to be behind the mic or you're interested in the camera, please let us know whether you're a student, a parent. Um, we welcome everybody because we want to make this thing a success. So. I like it. If you're in the high school, please get in touch with Mr. Pena. Um, he can help get you dialed into what we're doing. So back to the action. Jessica Soderberg serving for the Round Valley Oaks. Good serve. She's a very consistent server. Tipped. Oh, okay. Well, and I can't remember who said it. It was probably you, Katie. It's just getting it over the net. If you can just consistently get it in play, that's half the battle. Our JV team, I think, did not miss one serve tonight, and that's the score amazing. showed for that because wow. we haven't been doing that lately. Okay, my seventh grade is still not there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because of the work that you put in at the middle school level that the JV girls are able to do what they do. Um, and I think true. as we talk to Coach Donaldson, she appreciates that consistency. She appreciates this, the foundation that her team has. Um, and only losing three seniors, I think we're going to see a great team come back it's next year as well. So I agree. Yeah, I agree. Got some good chemistry going. Coach Donaldson's doing some good things. Good, good things. And that takes years to cultivate. It's not something that you can just get over time. And or this is just her second right year away. coach. Yeah, sorry. There yeah, Katie. Go. Katie and everyone is talking about <laughs> something you get over time. Oh, that's in. Not in the moment. Nice play away. there. Yeah, by Sholo. Was that number three or number 11 with that it hit? It was their setter number three. I Madison think. Taylor, captain. St. John's trying to dig themselves out of a hole now. Sholo. Sholo. What did I say, St. John's? St. John's. Really? <laughs> that, that was last night at soccer. <laughs> oh, my. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Just too many, too nice many much moosing. Nice hit by McKenzie. So, so that block went off of the hitter's hands and then popped up. So we call that a soft block. So you take some of the heat off of it, but it's yes. not a stuff block. Okay. And, and the block does not count towards the three hits on their side of the ball, correct? That's exactly right. Yeah. Yep. So you can even block a ball and come down and dig it. Usually that's a double hit, and that's illegal. But the 
the block contact does not count. And that last hit was by our freshman, Lauren Bates. Very good hit. It's coming over, coming over. See, so you can see that ball. If it's passed tight like that, you know it's going to come over because you can't do anything else with it. And nice work again by Bates being right there, just keeping it on that side of the net. Yes. Yeah. She read that and was blocking it. That's Merrill good. to serve. Crossing Cross. there. <laughs> nice height by Haas. Haas again. Oh, nice okay. blocks again by yeah. Sholo. Oh. Little misdirection by Shiloh trying to get it there. Yeah, trying to catch Sholo off guard. That was a good idea. Just didn't get it over. So this, so Sholo just had a libero switch. So it looked like the libero went from back left to serving. And technically what she did was she did a double. Oh, oh it. Way. Did a double sub. So, sh so she came out for the one that was going front row, and then she came in for the one that was front row going back row. And can that happen immediately, or does a play have to happen in between those? It can happen immediately. And so on the table, you have somebody keeping track of that because, oh, that's a tight set. She hit and the, the net. net. Yep. Yep. Well, bless their soul because I'm having a hard time keeping track of it. That's got to be hard to keep everything lined up. Yeah. Shola with the serve. It is now 16-9. Round Valley's ahead. Nice serve. Set. Tip, tip, tip. You go in that. Yeah, See? Carly's very oh. good at that. She's good to watch and read that pulse. Yes. Because usually in your defensive coverage, that's an open spot because hitters can't hit that that close to the net in front of that 10-foot line very well. Elks lead 17-9. Bell Walker with the serve. Jump. Back to Bell Walker. Ooh. Ooh. Haas unable to read it off the net, unfortunately. 10-17. They've got a sub. Number four is going in right here to serve. Number four for Sholo, Natalie Hall. Katie was doing a little genealogy during our last game. She's making all these. <laughs> can, oh, that's Sid, that's Sid Udall's granddaughter. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so the freshman team had two former Round Valley parents' uh, kids on their team. Really? Yes. <laughs> So one of them was uh, Ambry. Uh, um, what, what was her name? I can't remember. My other roster started blowing away into the wind. <laughs> Here we go to Haas. Haas oh, with some nice. depth. Tight, tight, tight. There you go. Got a block from our set or Shiloh. Shiloh has hops. She does have hops. Oh, nice misdirection over. there. There we go. There you go. There you go. Take it. I, I'm impressed by how well that Gibbons was able to do that with one hand. You see, when it's just one hand, the ball can go anywhere, and it went right back on, right back, unfortunately. Here we go. Oh, tight pass, tight pass. That was a net. There, there you go. go. Good yeah. call, good call. Shiloh usually jump serves. Looks like she's not doing that tonight. She's got a brace on. She did hurt her knee this week in practice, so that's yeah. probably why. Probably. Nice, nice setup by set. Sholo there. Oh. Works out for him. Those are hard ones. Yeah. Do you reach back and get that ball, or is your back row there to get it? That, those are hard ones to, to mm. guess. And right if you're in the not middle. communicating, then, then it's hard to figure out. 1912, Sholo serve. Gibbons with the serve. Nice pass by Bell. Here comes Hawes. Nice hit. We got a tight dig. There you go. Oh, double hit. Hit. Yeah. Double hit. I was looking for, we got started. I'm like, I need some bar stools or yeah. something here. Yeah, I got to adjust myself here. <clears throat> nice roll shot. Oh. Haas unable to get it. 2013, Round Valley lead here in the first set. Number nine to serve, Kyra Brogan for the Cougars. Nice up. Back set, back set. Oh. Nice hit. And Middle didn't get there for that block. Addie Clark, the other captain for the Cougars. Nice heat on that hit for the Cougars. 2014 Round Valley's lead. Oh, in the net. You don't see that a whole lot on the varsity level, do you? Well, Katie said, I think we only saw it once in the freshman. I don't think we saw it happen in the JV at all, and so... Definitely not at the varsity level. 
what we usually do, at least JV. We've got a lot in the net, so I was proud of those girls. So net on the serve is okay? Yes. It used to not be, but yes, now it is. Good job by McKinsey on the net. So there was a hit, mm -hmm. and they touched it. We dug it, and there was a hit. So there wasn't even a set in between. Timeout that's a by time out. Sholo. Yep. That's their second timeout. They have no more left. The score is Round Valley 22, Sholo 14. This is senior night, so sometimes after senior night, the festivities, the seniors sometimes get depressed and they're sad and they, they come back a little sluggish. I, I'm hoping these girls are mentally stronger than that. I hope they come back 100% still. We were talking about that with the girls, with the Lady Elk soccer team, because it was potentially their last game. And you saw a little bit of tenacity come out because it was literally everything on the field. If they wanted to play again, they had to beat Blue Ridge. And so it was really cool to see them really turn it up Good. when they needed to. And they're currently playing Chino Valley, and I haven't got to look yet. Oh, I'll look for you. Where do I look? Uh, it's on F NFHS. Uh, we can probably get a max prep score if somebody's if somebody's showing it or somebody's scoring it right now. Um, but here we go. Maria Wood with the serve. Nice soft serve to the middle. So that what they did right there, that is another change in rule. That technically was a double hit. So two people can hit the ball or it can bounce off of you once and twice, only on a serve or on a attack. So you can now double hit only on the first contact. And it's over, there you go. Oh, and it was outside of the antenna. So good call there by Coach Merrill. Set point for Round Valley. Oh, nice, nice trick play there, Sutter. Nice 20, 24-15 Elks lead. It'll be a defensive set point for Round Valley to get out of the first set. Number three, Madison Taylor, captain for the Cougars, serving. Number 12 just came in. Paige Garvin. Communication hits. there, you can hear it. And number three to Wood. I don't know, Merrill, excuse me. There we go. Oh, our middle is not getting up for those blocks. Tight, tight, tight. Touch. Nice, nice. Merrill. There you, go. there you go. And that's game, girls. Good job. 25 15. Round Valley takes the first one. Who won the toss? Round Valley did start off, so we should see Sholo with the opening serve in this game, or in this this one, correct? I came in after that, so I... <laughs> I want to say that Round Valley started and they, they took the serve from us and Sholo served. Oh, I, so think, I think you're right. I can't see the score because I don't have a password. All right, we're getting, we're getting in there. Let's see what we can get. So now that we're in the playoffs, NFHS holds the rights to, to certain games, and so... Sure, it's saying it's live. We just have to sign in. All right. I was trying to think of a mom who might be there that I could <laughs> text real quick. I could text the coach. I don't think Kalisha will respond right now, <laughs> but I can go. We'll just see if she answers here. Uh -huh. Check one, two, three. Check one, two, three. Somebody's on the microphone down underneath. <laughs> Check one, two, three. <laughs> and they're laughing, huh? Let's just keep it family friendly, gentlemen. <laughs> So our Round Valley Elks have only lost one game all season, and it was just last week to um, Snowflake. Snowflake, and they is Snowflake undefeated as well. Um, I believe so. I believe it was that was the battle for for first, as I understand it. Well, so Round Valley's still two A in volleyball. Oh yeah, yeah. And so losing my mind. So I think that Snowflake is is number one for three. They have a new coach this year. They had. Their prior hey. coach, he had been there for years and years and years. Hey. I'm trying to talk to them. Hey. I'm trying to talk to them. <laughs> Hello.
All right, so they're getting ready to huddle up and break. Have less than a minute left. Here we go. Get the second game going. Usually they switch sides, so one team doesn't have an advantage, like if the light is in their eyes or something. But with COVID, they're not doing that. So Shola's getting ready to serve. Number two is going to be their first server. One game in, Round Valley with the lead. Sholo to serve. Get us on the right camera here. Maria with the dig. Ooh, a tight set. McKenzie still swings at it. Here we go, we're gonna try it again. Here we go, and a block, nice dig again. Their coverage is looking really nice. And then Shiloh does a dump. Good. They're passing oh, well, oh. Damn it. Damn it. Th Those tight net balls are just hard, aren't they, Katie? So hard. Yeah, sometimes impossible. <laughs> but there was some good coverage, some good passing there. Nice pass. Keeps it in play to Merrill. And it's deep That's and long. long. Yep. Brown Valley yet to score the second set. We need a side out right here. All right, pulling up the live stream for the Round Valley Chino game after the advertisement. <laughs> Merrill to serve. Libero picks it up. And attack in the net. Clark puts it into the net. So now we're tied up again. I Good. blinked and there's already four points on the board. I swear, <laughs> this game. <laughs> nice short set. There you go. There you go. That's oh nice dig. There goes Haas. Oh, darn it. Her, her feet were off. Had to hit that off of a, off of just one foot. But I think on her slide hits, she she does a quick three step off of one, doesn't she? Yes, and she's usually very effective. Oh, serving the net. Okay, See her second miss serve. Something in the water, I guess. Kyra Brogan into the net. We're going to go to number two, Bell Walker. Three three. Clark, nice hit by Clark. Oz gets it back over. Jump. Nice hit. She's good. She is good. And when you don't have a blocker in front of her face, she's going to slam away at it. Yeah. Our middle blocker especially is having a real hard time getting in position tonight. So our middle blockers on the varsity team are not your typical height. Mm -mm. No. We have very short middle blockers, and considering they do a very good job. Three, there we go, back over. Little bit of a scramble there, Oaks, get it there though. There set to Haas. Set. There you go. Nice. nice. Haas. That's three. Oh, oh no, that's it. three. They got it, they got it, here we go. McCall back to Haas again, yeah. there we go. <laughs> Little bit of excitement there, woohoo, I love that enthusiasm. And that would have been called a pancake, correct? Hand on the ground? Yes, if she got it at. Where's Jaden Cisco? Right. He'd pancake. approve. Yes, he would. I just barely yesterday taught my girls how to do that, and I told them if you ever do a Out. pancake in the game, then I will make you breakfast. I'll make you pancakes. You will get pancakes. <laughs> nice. So it's looking like the game hasn't started yet, or it's over, and it's 0 0, or it's over. I don't have no idea. Maybe the game starts at 7. Maybe so, because if it would have started at six, it would be still going, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's an 80-minute game with yeah, a halftime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet it starts at seven. It's a long, stinking drive. Yep. Comes the serve from Clark. McCall to Haas. Yeah. It's a kill. 
Looking good. Nice placement by Haas there. Yeah, sometimes those line hits are hard to do. She, she has them down. Oh, nice serve, Carly. There it is. Yes. Oh, Again, very nice. Yeah. Beautiful, girls. And the momentum shifts. <laughs> Our two tallest girls on the team are outside hitters. And they're also some of our very best passers. Yes. Nice serve by Carly. Nice pass. Nice pass. And here it comes back to McKenzie. Oh, right in the middle. So she didn't crank on that one. She hit it a little softer, so it dropped right in the middle of their coverage. Smart play. I'm, going, I'm going to say that she meant to do that, right? It looked good. It looked, <laughs> it looked great. Good. You know, I'm so used to talking about Round Valley's size disadvantage that we see, and it's interesting to see it here on the volleyball court yeah. as well, that you only have so many taller girls, or your two tallest are as tall as almost the rest of the yeah. Sholo team. And that's what we see on the football field as well. You should have seen us against Snowflake. No. Their, their height was unbelievable. They have always grown up tall there, haven't they? Yeah, they were unbelievable. Another there will switch there. Hannah Buckles with the serve. Hawes gets it off the ground. Good job, Shiloh, hitting that over. And a back set. And the so soft block in the big. To Merrill. Tight, tight, tight. There he goes. Over pass. Nice, nice, nice work. Jessica. Good job. Clark unable to get it. I don't ever clap during football, but I'm up here like, <laughs> go team. <laughs> Sorry, I have no, I don't know, no idea what I'm doing. I don't know with my hands. <laughs> Maria Wood with the serve. On the dig and it's, ooh, nice, oh, gets nice, it in nice. play. Very nice good, play by girls. Merrill. Nice control, you know. Yeah. You get the point. Well done, ladies. Some of those defensive plays that you'd think that they can't get are my very favorite. I just, or I would be in the bleachers. I would be pretzeled <laughs> in the bleachers right now. I did that in high school. I uh. jumped right into the bleachers. Oh, and a double hit by the setter. Wood back to serve again for the Elks. Tight, tight. There you go. Nice, nice clock. Kinsey. And again, and again. Oh, oh, dang it. Just a little off on our timing there. It's on those, but she should have done this. She should have just blocked it instead of tried to hit at it. But Stella was in the net, so we kind of left out right there. We'll yes, take it. we did. Tight, tight, tight. Oh, net again. There we go. Shola's passing too tight. Yeah. And so that setter's really struggling. It, that, that is not the setter's fault. She lots of times gets the blame for it. But, but it's definitely the pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We said that over and over tonight. It all starts with the pass. And it does. So this down ref right here, I think, is new this year. He's the old Snowflake head coach. Is that who that is? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I can't think of his name, but yes, it is. Turn around so I can see you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Well, he knows the game for sure. Yes. I can't think of what his name is. I should know it, too. Yeah. <laughs> I would totally ask, but I'm sure I wouldn't know either, so I'm just going to say, yeah, that one guy, <laughs> right? That <laughs> guy. <laughs> so round belly up by eight here in the second game. Who called the timeout? Sholo um, trying to get their head right, or did round belly take a pause? Sholo. I think it was Sholo. Yeah, it was Sholo. Coach Donaldson doesn't call a whole lot of timeouts. Well, and really interesting to hear that a lot of times you can use subs as strategy as well to either ice a player or to take that, you know, five second break to slow something down. Yeah. Good placement. It is good placement, yeah. That was a smart play. Got a sub over on the Sholo side. Like number four is going in. Twelve's coming out. Now yeah, the JV team's cheering on their varsity for Sholo. Like to see that. Round oh, Valley, the Round Valley student section always comes through. 
We're responding in full force. There's a couch over there now, too, by the way. We've got to get a couch over here. Yeah, right? Yeah. A few weeks ago, I can't remember who we were playing, but I'm telling you our student section won that game for us. It was awesome. Those boys get going, and it's so fun. <laughs> it is fun. Well, announcing the game, so much of it is when the energy is there from the crowd. Yes. <laughs> oh, nice hit by Merrill. Beautiful Straight kill. Down. Nobody even tried to get a hand on that. There was no way. I really feel like it can make or break a game, though, the energy, the momentum. Oh, and sometimes I feel like I'm pulling teeth trying to get the crowd to cheer. You know, I'm like, God, people, <laughs> let's well, do this. Volleyball right. is such a mental game, more so than most, ace. I believe. Ooh, nice ace right there. I'm not sure why she didn't go for that. Uh, I, I don't I have any words on that one. Well, okay, there it is. Oh, because she did kind of stutter step. I bet yeah. that's what it was. Who's got the ball? Yeah. Jessica Soderberg. Like I say, Knocks she out. is a consistent. Ooh. Ooh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lucky for Round Valley. Nice hit. Up to oh, Merrill. Cut, soft block. There we go. Good dig. And they, over. and they just get it over. And sometimes that's smart. If you are out of position, and it's an ugly ball. Nice dig. Just hit the reset button, right? Yep. Oh, that was a good volley. you got to give a shout-out to Shiloh, who sets it up every time so well. Consistently. Consistently. She is an excellent setter. She the is. reason we're saying Haas every time and Merrill every time is because she's getting them the ball. Exactly. Haley Gibbons with the serve for the Cougars. It is 16, Round Valley 9, Shiloh, and a dunk set. Tight, 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 tight. Ah. So, so the, if you're digging those balls and you see that the set is really tight, you know they're not going to be able to swing away. So usually you need to collapse that net and get close because it's going to be just a tip just to get it over. In. in right on that line. Oh, the Good placement there by Sholo. Amanda. <laughs> I was trying to get her to take my spot and have a full female <laughs> announcing section. People that actually played the game that know what's going on. So Shelly just served it into the net. Mackenzie Merrill up to serve for Round Valley. Clark there to pick up the off hit to four. Natalie Hall gets it back over the net for the Cougars. Again, there it is, consistency. Tip, 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 see? Same thing there. If it's too tight, you can only tip that over. Just on the wrong side of the line, though, unfortunately, for Haas. Yeah. It sounds like a train whistle. Is it, it just me? I <laughs> Do you know what? It's, it's a whistle that, that you... Okay. That, so because of COVID, they have to wear masks. Oh. And so some refs have one of those whistles that, that you just depress and it makes that funky train sound. That makes so much more sense now. Oh. Haas, I think, trying to go soft, but a butt bit too soft. A little bit too soft, yeah. Still want to aim deep, because deep is a harder ball to receive almost every time. Oh, serving the net. That's killing them there. Going to rotate to Bell Walker. here. Short, oh, good placement. Oh, nice hit. So Kennedy Bell missed that dig. And it is Solo's serve number three. Madison Taylor, captain, serving for the Cougars. Nice float serve. Another cross. See, now that they've adjusted, so that means shows that Shola's well coached because they adjusted because they got burned there a couple times. It is now 18 Round Valley, 15 Shola for Shola serving. Madison Taylor, I believe, serving, yes, number three for the yeah. Cougars. Nice pass Beautiful by Bell. Pass. And a dump over from the setter. Tight, tight, short. And 
Haas to McCall, back to Haas. Nice digs there, here we go. Tight, tight. Nice placement. Way to stay out of that net. Those tight balls are easy to get That's to a carry. Left, so I felt like that was a carry. Yeah. And the, that up rack up there usually gets those. Yeah. <laughs> nice hit by Hawes. Well, that's just more fun to get the point that way. Yeah. You know what impressed <laughs> right? me, though, was how well McCall behind, without looking, even knowing where Hawes or the net was, the placement, right, it just it blows my mind. That's practice. That's, that's got to just be reps. And it's concentration. Knowing if your shoulder's too far dangling to the net. Okay, so a late sub here. Round Valley 19, show 15. Soderberg coming into the game for the Elks. I get the keys, I'll come back and pick you up. Yes. Twenty fifteen served by McCall. Haas, there you go. And come right back to Haas here. Nice power by Haas. Oh, don't go in the bleachers. Oh, Katie just had flashbacks. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a beautiful roll though. Yes, so she it came was. out and got it. Yes, it rolled was. over that shoulder, popped right back up. Timeout. Show low. Right. That's their second time out. So that's Sholo's second time out. They're going to go ahead and hit the brakes right now. Round Valley four away from putting the second game into the books. So how much adjustments happen in these one-minute timeouts? Is it, is it more just calm down, ladies, get yourself, find yourself, or are they, are they actively making strategy changes right now? I'm going to say a little of both. So uh, obviously th they had to make that one adjustment because Carly hit him, you know, a couple of those short shoot sets just right into that corner. And then this last one she did, they dug that up. So they obviously made that adjustment. They're so also trying to break our momentum as well, though. Mm -hmm. That's true. But, it, but the coach is right there, out there on the sideline, so she's obviously doing some coaching right now with, with one of her players. It's like talking to her about blocking by how her hands are moving in my opinion. <laughs> Short, there you go. Back, Back set. set. Way to go get that ball, Mackenzie. To Haas. Oh. oh. That was a stuffed block from Solo and they are so it excited. Was. You know, those are some of the most fun pieces of a game in my opinion. I love blocks and I love good defensive plays. That's out. There we go. Good call. Round Valley three points away. Haas goes back to serve. Right here. Haas finish it. Right oh, no, here. I'd be okay to finish this game right now. She has a beautiful jump serve. This makes earth. Nice. Just barely touching the net. Nice point for Haas there. Those are hard balls to return. Deep. So she's mixing it up. Nice short serve. And then a deep one. That's, that shows that she's a good server. Kill it, Kins. Oh, there we go. Off the block, out of bounds. The McCall Merrill combo getting another point for the Elks as they lead by eight here in the second game. McKenzie's been very effective tonight. She really has. Keep swinging away, swinging away. Game point good. right here. I've seen a lot of growth in McKenzie Merrill just this year, mentally. Line hit. Here we go. We're going to put it Merrill. right now. Ooh, oh, another block. They're doing well here. So sometimes when that happens to an outside hitter and you get blocked a couple times, you're, just your confidence goes down and you start hitting it lighter and things. Let's, let's hope that she keeps swinging away. Sometimes you have to go off of them. Nice. Down oh. angle. That's just what I was going to say. Well done. You feel like that was on purpose? I, no, I, no, I don't. I thought she was going to hit it a lot harder than that, and it came off the side of her hand, I think. But Do you know what? It was kind of a funky angle. It worked, though. It worked. We'll take it. It was <laughs> absolutely on purpose. It doesn't have to be pretty <laughs> to work, right? Absolutely on purpose. <laughs> so three-minute break. 
Your Elks up two games to zero. A few predictions of a 3-0 shutout for the Elks right now. I feel like we can say some of those things. We used to have a haunted microphone because we'd say something and then it would happen on the field. And we'd usually blame Steven because we felt that Steven always had that microphone. Or he just always made the predictions. That's probably <laughs> what it was. Oh, but. there's some Aww. boys down there saying hello to us. Here we go. Getting some crowd shots. Jet, you are the camera right now if you want to have people wave and stuff. See if we get some good shots of these, <laughs> of this. Elks fans, we're live here. at Let's Go Elks on Facebook. You can wave to the camera. We got Jet Hamblin working the camera right now for us for Legacy Teen Productions. Give a wave to Grandma in Arkansas. <laughs> Once again, if you want to see the third game here, go to Let's Go Elks on Facebook or YouTube. He just likes to be on the camera. Usually it's during the football game. It doesn't matter. He just wants to be on camera. He That's what it is. There. <laughs> oh, zooming in yes. on Riley. Yes, I'm sure she loves that <laughs> if she knew. Yeah, only if she knew. And we're just letting him do it. We're jet, just here. Just do your thing. <laughs> Maybe your like next purchase should be one of those big screens where people can see, <laughs> see what's going on. <laughs> what are those called? Like the jumbo Jumbotrons. Yeah. Whoa, Jet, you're crazy. <laughs> And now everybody's sick on the stream. <laughs> That's okay. Take a second. Take your own personal time out. we got a minute and a half as we get jet set. Here we go. We'll try to come back to him. Jet set. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Zooming in some shallow girls. <laughs> I'm watching these coaches try to coach with their mask on and taking them off and putting them back on. It's just kind of a awkward thing this year, isn't it? For sure. Well, in teaching as well. I mean, so much of teaching, especially younger kids, if the kids are having to wear them, the kid teachers, so much of it you lose, I think, in that. And so um, blessed to be in a community where our kids are able to do what they do, how we are able to do it. Um, did you see the letter that came out by the superintendent yeah, just a day or two awesome. ago? No cases right now affecting our school district. We're able to do, do it how we're doing it. It seems to be effective. It seems to be working thus far. So... Um, Props go out to, to Travis Udall, to all the administrators, the, the school, the, the precautions that they are taking, the steps that we have taken to be able to play fall sports. I know it's a, it's a daily dance that uh, the Jeff Cochran and Chris Matthews are making to try to make this work. And, you know, props to the coaches, props to the players for being willing to do those things. And, and there were lots of critics, you know. We should be doing this. And, but, but the kids have been good to do what, what we ask at least. I really have not had any pushback, and kudos to them. They want to play. They want to be in the classroom. I think all of those things happen. You know what's cool to see is so much of the football team here tonight representing the, the student section for, uh, for the volleyball They're game. They're almost always here. That's so cool to yeah. see. I love it. All right, getting ready to start this third set. Jessica Soderberg to serve. Here we go. And nice serve. Free ball. Oh, that second one was a double hit or a carry. So are those different calls? They are. Yes. Okay. She'll do this with the, for the carry, and she'll do this for a double hit. Okay. That wow. is out. She went all the way to that line. That's what you should do. That shows they're well coached. Nice maturity by Clark, right? Yeah. One to one, Sholo to serve. Jet Hamblin's now just a wild man on this second camera. <laughs> He's just having a good old time, huh? Oh, that yeah, was beautiful. Nice change up by McCall there. And it's over. One, two. And Mackenzie. There you go. Nice dig. So she hit that and dug it. Those are sometimes hard to do. Good communication by Carly calling that ball off so she could get What's it. It's going to be a cross. That's it. Nice hit by number one. Is it number one? Yep, yep. Hannah. So when, when that set goes so far out, you have to adjust your coverage because she can't go line right. well to be outside that antenna. So you have to adjust to get that outside because you know it's going to go deep cross. Nice, nice back, back set. set. <laughs> Hard hit. Oh. Jinx. Somebody owes somebody oh. pop shop. That's right. all I know. Oh, we might have to meet up there after the game. <laughs> there are pop shop cookies over here, though. We did see that. And Rice Krispie Treat. Yeah. So, Andrea, your husband's drink of choice is Trophy Wife for obvious yeah, reasons. Uh, what is your drink of choice? <laughs> you know, I am not a huge soda fan, so I like their lemonades. Okay. With mango puree and strawberry. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, That's so. it. So that hit hit the top of the tape and rolled over. Those, those are just lucky. wonky ones that are just hard to get. Yeah. 
Wonky. Co so I get that word from Wonky. From Ellie Merrill. She's on my volleyball team, and that has just become the word of our team. Nice. <laughs> Short set. There you go. She had to a little behind a little her, but she took care of she it. Got it. Nice hit. Some of those short shoot sets like that are my favorite because one, the defense can't get there because it's too fast. Yeah. They're not expecting it. And so lots of times you can hit it without a blocker in front of you. Yeah. And so they're very effective. But to do them, you That's have fair. to have. Oh, oh. That was a close call right there. That was a close call. That's why they pay them the big bucks. <laughs> or I, you couldn't pay me enough. No, I me just, neither. I, and, and doing it while your daughter's playing, that's <sighs> rough. Yep. I ref Little League Baseball in high school for gas money because I'm like, oh, yeah, this is fun. And do you guys remember um, Dean Morris? I do. Yeah. He, great coach, not fun to ref against. I will <laughs> tell you that right now. That's a, oh. Got some dirty looks. Haas, oh, nice move. She got that and did get oh, in the she net. Did. Woo. Her yeah. hair got in the net, but that is legal. Hair, even uniforms. If your uniform only gets in the net, that's legal. If you're not, you're not touching. Okay, yep. interesting. Yep. Again, the choo-choo train's in town. <laughs> <laughs> Walker with the serve as the Elks lead 6-3 here in the third game. Nice serve. Oh, why did she go to her knees? <laughs> Bell's pretty good at placing it. She is. And she's looking over here at the coaches. Hey, where do you want me to yep. put it? Look, see that? Drop it right where she wants it. Nice, nice hit nice. by nice Clark. Nice dig by McKenzie. Here goes. Oh, Haas. Not where Haas wanted it. Well, It'll it work. So even if you don't get it where you want it and you can't see it the way, as long as you get it deep, get it deep, mm -hmm. get it deep, they have a harder time returning them. Over. Ooh. Oh. They, they were ready for that, though. Did you yep. see yes, them move they back? Were. That's smart. Ooh, oh, she tried. She's trying to go there. Yeah. She's looking at her coach. Yeah, I yeah. tried. It just. <laughs> Andre, if, if you would bring your mic a little bit closer to here, Stephen. Stephen's watching. Oh, hello, Stephen. There Steven. we go. And now Thank she's you. she's here. <laughs> Brown Very Valley nice. scrambling, nice move. Call that oh, ball. Oh, communication, girls. Is that like a foul ball? Does he get to keep it? <laughs> I'd keep it. It'd be really awkward, though, for a minute there. It'd be kind of hard to <laughs> hold and hide, right? Yeah. <laughs> Baseball's a little high, easier to disguise in your on your person. <laughs> it's out of bounds, way out, way, way deep. We're going to rotate things around. You can see just a little bit, it seems like McCall is favoring that knee just a little bit. It's probably why we're seeing her not. Jump serve this yeah. evening. Yeah, it was popping in and out during practice. I know uh -huh. that. Ooh, oh, nice set. Here we go. Ooh, way cross. Crossing out. Ground ball with 11 to 5 lead. 14 points away for closing things down for the night. Coach Donaldson calling the choo-choo train into town. <laughs> Number seven coming into the game, Kiri Walker. Kyrie. Kyrie. Over, took, over. That took me a minute. As soon as I said it, it sounded wrong. Oh, so thank nice you for. Oh, nice job, Kyrie. Oh, that was a carry. Yeah. So if it goes from behind and front, that's a carry. If you do it real fast, sometimes you can get away with it. This is a really weird rotation for, for Round Valley because they have the three front row all in, on that left side. Nice stop by Merrill there, keeping it in play, nice and it job. works out. Good job, Carly. Good job. I like how they don't lessen their intensity level. They keep it up. They keep going. They keep swinging. Nice serve. Nice placement by Sholo there, but great pickup by McCall to Merrill. That's out. outside the antenna. So that set was just too far out to bring in. In order to bring those outside ones in, you have to go sharp, sharp, sharp cross. So it'll have to go clear on the opposite corner. 
Ooh. Oh, talk to each other, girls. Okay, if there's another one of those, I predict that we're going to get a timeout from Coach Donaldson. Let's see. Here you go. Pick it up. <laughs> Here comes the serve. It's a good serve. Merrill getting up. Yeah. Oh. So when you block the ball and it comes down the front of you like that, that is usually because you are too far away from the net. Not sealing the mm -hmm. net. Wood with the serve, 13 to eight. The Elks lead by five here in the third game. Oh, nice job. Nice short kick, good job. Even though I don't like that they did it, but it was still pretty. <laughs> did it hurt? It just <laughs> tasted a little bitter. It did. Talk about the, my mouth. that lemonade. Just, ah. <laughs> nice pass by McKenzie. And then come back to hit it. Yes. Ooh. All right, broke that serve. Here we go. 14, Round Valley, 9, solo. Walker Jessica. leaving the game. Jessica's coming back in to serve. Oh, tight, tight, tight. There you go. It's a smart move by the setter. Here goes Merrill. Nice. nice hit. Good job, Kinsey. I like it. And that setter hits that ball. The setter can only do that if she has front row. Yeah. If she's back row, then that's considered a back row attack. So they're doing a 5-1 just like us. Have one setter all the way around. Yes. Oh, that was a touch. touch. Dang it. That was out, honey. Okay, got to communicate. Here we go. Throw that line and tell each other. Here we go, girls. And there's a tip. There you go. There you go. Good cross. Tip, 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 tip. Oh, she was reading that, though. She was ready, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah. And now she's back serving. Go from hit, hit, hit to serve. 16-11, Round Valley. Nice hit and by touch. Clark there. And free ball. There it goes. It's over. Nice up. Here we go. Two hit. I think that is the first double hit that we've gotten called on Round Valley. Show us how to few. That's our first one. Good job. We have some right. good quality setting here. In the Snowflake game, Lisa was on Shiloh's case the entire night. She called it over and over and over again. Uh, it was rough. Well, obviously they've worked with her on it because they're they're looking pretty sharp right yeah. now. Shola with some substitutions. Back in the action, Kyra Brogan to serve. Nice oh, and since she's again front row, she could hit that ball. It went off the blocker, out of bounds. So Round Valley point. She also has hops for a setter. Boy, doesn't she? Yeah. yeah. And that's the reason she can play front row, yep. and she can block, and she can hit, is because of those hops. Yep. Out of bounds. Ooh, oh, round dollars in the net. Dang it. <laughs> Carly said, I was not. Was it me? <laughs> I didn't see it. I, you know, I didn't either, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt here. <laughs> Taylor to serve. And, ooh, out of bounds. There you go. So they blocked it and out of bounds. And that's easy to happen. Yeah. You have to be smart and angle your hands in to keep it in bounds. 
more advanced thought process there. What? He calls us in the net again? Uh, but I think she knew that one because she's not looking around. <laughs> Ooh, that could have been a double hit right there. Ooh. So Sholo's on a roll right here, Round Valley. We need to break this. They It's Round Valley 18, Sholo 15. Co Coach Donaldson not take a lot of timeouts. We haven't seen her pause the game at all. Nope, she doesn't. And we'll take it. We'll For take sure. that serve in the net. Six points away. Haas goes back to serve. Tip, there you go. Nice up, nice up. Here we go. Back set. Oh, it fooled me. There you go. Good job, Jessica. I was looking to Merrill. <laughs> and that's a smart play because Shola probably was too. Mm -hmm. And mix it up, and so then the block's not there, and we get a beautiful kill just like that, Jessica. So I think right here, that Sholo, since they're out of timeouts, they wanted to slow the game down a little bit, so they did a sub. Paige Garvin coming in on that substitution for Sholo. Oh, it's out of bounds. There you go. Four points away. Haas back to serve again. I thought that setter was going to dump it over. I think she was kind of deciding, which. Yeah. what should I do? Short nice. set. Good job. Good she can place really, really consistently. Ooh, yeah. That's in. Yeah. That's just a hard hit to return. Yeah, it just is. Sure. That placement was right where we weren't. Hannah Buckles to serve. She's got a good serve. Mm -hmm. It's a good dig by Carly. And, ooh, there oh, you go. Good job, Shiloh. The good communication there by the Elks. Ooh, ooh that was a double hit. Yeah, good job, Round Valley. So double hits like that are legal now. They are legal. And you can tell by how it spun that it was, huh? Yes. <laughs> yep. Way to get a playable yep. ball on that. There you go. Touch. Yep. Wood with the serve. Wood with the terse touch on the ball to Merrill. Oh, oh Shola was in the net. net. Dang it. I'm Those not paying attention down there because <laughs> I haven't seen any of those. <laughs> I think I'd have a hard time being a down ref like that because yeah. I like to watch the ball instead of yeah, <laughs> the net sure, too. Yeah. <laughs> nice pass by Carly. Another nice. out. There you go. Ooh, nice set from the libero even. Give it back to her. Here it is. Beautiful, nice. Beautiful, beautiful. They only had one blocker there. Match point for the Elks right here as they lead by eight. The Round Valley cheering section is Chanting uno mas. Here we go. See if we can finish it right here. Ooh, nope, nope. Went off of our block and out of bounds. I really feel like almost every game that the Elks have won tonight have been on a defensive point. They've almost all been defending, been, right? Yeah. I know for sure the second one was. I can't remember the first one. Yeah. Ooh, tight. Ooh, go, go, go. Three. Oh, nice try. Good effort. Yeah, hustle, yeah. I love that hustle. Spanish teachers got to be proud of this <laughs> student <laughs> section right now. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that, that's and they missed serve to end the game. Good job, Brown Valley. Oh, we swept Sholo. That's a good feeling. It is a good feeling. And that helps our placement for the tournament. Absolutely. When is the tournament? Um, it starts on Tuesday. Okay. I don't know if we'll get a bye or not. We are right on the cusp. This win will help. Mm -hmm. So they're going to the line and waving at them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
So there's no contact, no shaking hands, nothing this year. It's, it just is a weird way to end the game, just like, see you later. <laughs> Well, just like that, guys, lots of shutouts, lots of really good volleyball for the Round Valley Elks and their senior night against the Sholo Cougars. So is this their last regular season play before we go into the tournament? Yes. So we've got a week off or so until they head into to tournament play. Right. Depending on how everybody did tonight, we might have a bye on Tuesday, and we might be playing here on Tuesday. If we do get a bye, then what's next? The following Saturday, I think it's like maybe the 14th. Does that sound right? So they may get a whole week and a half off yeah. or some. Well, that's yeah. a long time. Yeah, that's a real long time. I right? think I, I think I'd rather be playing Tuesday. <laughs> it's almost icing, right? You're yeah, almost yeah. because you're not having not having play in that time. Right. So guys, that's going to wrap things up. We may try to grab one of the girls if you guys are open to it. If I go grab a couple of the players, so I'm going to leave you here with Katie and Andrea, and let me see if I can round up a couple of the Round Valley Elks, and we'll be right back. Okay. Well, I've enjoyed this, Katie. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it is fun. It's good to just feel the energy up here, and nothing's better than watching a good volleyball game, really. I have a really hard time not cheering and screaming. Do you know what? That's so really so when I do me. books or do lines or something, that it's hard for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is hard. Oh, they're down there taking pictures. Yeah. Yep. Last game, senior night. Have to night. do that. All of these parents have their hands <laughs> outstretched. That's cute. If we, I don't know if we can get a I don't picture know how to of that. The camera. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, there you go. Jet Jet has them though. On this one, I don't know how to. Not. Did I switch it. Uh huh. It's is this is this what's showing right there? We don't know what we're doing. If you can't tell. <laughs> we just like to push buttons. <laughs> <laughs> but Wes may need to give us a little tutorial on how to. <laughs> Not break his things while he's gone. Yes. <laughs> yep. Did he grab somebody? We can't I can see, see him there by that. Jet, but I don't see anybody next to him. So, anyway, fun stuff. It's been a great season for these girls. They only have, what, nine players on the varsity level. And so most of the girls play all the way around. When you get into some tight matches, you can really get a little bit exhausted playing every every I ball. Think, I think to play three or four or five games too is man. Yeah. I didn't have to. I mean, we'd have to play three. Right. When we were in high school, but to go four or five, that's. But we also didn't exhausting. have the volley scoring, that's and true. so so the games do go faster this yeah, way as well. That's very true. So we had some games that would just be side out, side out, side out, yes. and no one would score. Yes. <laughs> it would take forever. Yes. Forever. Yeah. And now it's getting freezing cold up here again. I can feel it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun to see everybody leaving here. <laughs> so we invited our junior high volleyball girls to come watch the last game, let them oh. experience some of the awesome. what their futures can hold. Yeah. See awesome. the game at the next level when here. When does your season start? Have you had a game yet? No. Tuesday okay. is our first game. Okay. First game on Tuesday. And who's coaching with you? Stevie is, so she's the varsity assistant, and I love her. She's really fun. Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to give this to Wes because he'll want to ask the questions. Oh, he <laughs> sent for me to take over here. His, so. Oh. oh. Well, we are so glad you're there here, you Coach. Go. Congratulations <laughs> on a fabulous win, a great, great season. It has been fun, fun watching you. Tell me a little bit about about your girls, and you only have nine. That changes the dynamics a little bit. We, we chose to keep nine just so that everybody could get uh, – good playing time and get people in there and we wouldn't have disharmony on the bench and it has it's really paid dividends uh, you know we just have had the girls have come together and we've had so much fun and good camaraderie and I feel like that's been a huge a huge um, portion of our success this year chemistry and the just the mental toughness I mean yeah. th that stuff it's hard to coach you know 
It's, well, it's, it's a it, great thing. I don't think I have to coach it much. I try, but they do a good job. This is a great group of girls, and they've worked hard, and, and we really couldn't ask to be – uh, to have had a better season up to this point. Obviously, a, a win against Snowflake would have been the icing <laughs> on the cake. That would have been amazing, but, yes. <laughs> but uh, do you know what? We came out and we showed that we could play with the big dogs when we played against them. Absolutely. And so so yeah. that was a great uh, game to prepare us for the state tournament, and That's we're true. very excited for that. So, yeah. so tell us what this win does for you guys next week. Um, it's really hard to tell because no one knows how the PowerPoint equations work except okay. the computer. Okay. But... It, Hey guys, if you're still with us, sorry about that. We had somebody turn off our power underneath. And so let us get reset just a sec. I'm going to switch cameras and we're going to see if we can interview just a few of the players here. So stick with us here in our post game situation. I think I'm going to actually have to refresh this really quick. Apologize, super fun here. And back to what I want it to be. Hey, look at that. Woohoo. Hopefully, hopefully we got some. So this camera's on right here. Yeah, we're going to go here. <laughs> so let's see if we can't grab a couple of our players here. Whoever you want. Yes. Carly McKenzie, Shiloh, why don't you all come over here? We'd like to interview you. Woohoo, miss. So. Great, great job. Amazing setting today. Thank you. And some of my favorites were when you would just turn, you were like you were going to set, and you came and dumped that ball over the net. <laughs> are those so fun? Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are when everybody goes together and fights for it. So They are. They are. Got some good digs, some good blocks. Yeah. We were commenting about how sometimes you're running behind and you're passing that ball behind you, and you somehow just know <laughs> where to send it. How do you do that? Honestly, don't know. I just, <laughs> I just go for it. <laughs> Hope for the best. You just kind of know where you are against the net yeah, and kind yeah. of cross your fingers. Huh? <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, well done. Thank you. On a great game. Proud Thank of you. you. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. All right. You're going to get both of our hitters. All right. Time. Come on over, girls, if you could. This was a game of left side hit, left side hit, left side hit, right? So look at this camera right here, okay? All right, so tell me a little bit about this game. Was that kind of fun or what? Oh, it was a whole lot of fun. Um, at first, we uh, all we had to do was just pass and then like a set, and then we killed it. Kenzie did so good today. I want to give her credit. She did amazing. She had, Even when she got blocked, she got back up and started hitting it and earned points for us. So. Do you know what, and you never lightened up. So even though they blocked you a couple times, you didn't start making it um, a soft hit. You were still blocking away, trying to go on, go on off their hands. Mm -hmm. That's That shows mental toughness, right? It shows that, that you don't get, oh, they're, they're blocking me, because that stinks when they block you, right? Mm -hmm. And I yeah. think it's a lot of energy, too. 
our energy. We were just up the first game and the second game. Yeah. That, that momentum. Volleyball is such a mental game, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. And so if, if you can just let some things roll off of you and keep playing your game, keep doing what you know how to do, you're going to be successful, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And Chola had a lot of good digs, but I feel like we just kept pushing them, pushing them, pushing them to dig it up and doing harder balls and all that stuff. To And that's why we came out on top because we just kept pushing, kept doing mental toughness, like you said. And it was just a whole lot of fun. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of fun. Also, I, I want to say Carly Serves rocked it in those sets. <laughs> Killed it. Good job. Thank you. Great. Great all the way around. I mean, you two are even some of our best passers. So you serve awesome. You pass well. You kill that ball. And it is so fun to watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Thank you. So, Thank you. so just well, well-rounded playing, which is in, in a sport like this, lots of times you specialize a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I'm an outside hitter. That's all I do. Mm -hmm. But not you two. You kind of do a little bit of everything. <laughs> and, and you always have, mm -hmm. right? Even even from junior high, you guys have always been that player that, that does it all, and, and you've kept it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Like, I'm just being always on the court, like, always knowing everything. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just so fun to play different positions, pl being able to play with the teammates and different rotations and all that stuff. It's just a whole lot of fun with everybody. And, yeah, so. Love it. It's just a fun game, isn't it? it? Is. <laughs> it's <amazing. laughs> just a fun game. All right, so this next week, we will find out if you play Tuesday or Saturday. Okay, mm -hmm. so next level, right? State's yes. going to step it up a notch. Okay, so what, what are, who are some of the teams that, that you've heard about that are um, going to give you a little more competition than some? A lot of, a lot of like, the Christian schools yeah, down there. Yeah, private know. schools. Yeah, private schools. And, like, I feel like St. John's has got a lot better, mm -hmm. and um, we might see them at state. It just depends on all of the playing games and how it goes and everything. I feel like everybody's getting better, so we just got to be on our A game mm -hmm. and being always um, doing better. Do you know, and, and that's a good point, right? We, we can't, oh, we're doing awesome. We're number one, la, la, la. You can't get overconfident because we are going to see a, a different caliber of play, and we have to keep improving. You guys may have, if, if you get a buy on Tuesday, you're not going to play again until Saturday. Mm -hmm. Is that a long time to not have a game? Yes. Yeah. Right before state, mm -hmm. right? Yes. It really is. Yeah. Especially because last year um, we had Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday games every single week for the whole season, yeah. and this COVID is taking a toll on us, but it's fun to just do two games mm -hmm. Thursday, uh, Thursday, Tuesday. But like, like I said, last year we did Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday each week going – Places that were so far, so far <laughs> lots of travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but that also prepared you to be the players that you are this year, mm -hmm. right? Yes. More games, you have more game-like situations. Well, what do I do if the ball goes here? And oh, I should have done this instead. And so, the more you can play, the more you learn those things. For sure. And Definitely. so, so that's helped us for this year, even though it's. It is just a weird year. <laughs> yeah, and getting switched regions was a big part oh, of it. Yeah. I was, uh, for me, I was so nervous because like playing different teams that we've never seen before, yeah. traveling to Tucson, like, and like our team was so different. I don't know. And then like we just clashed, and then it, like, it was just awesome. Our awesome team bond year. this year yeah. has been a very big part it, of our success. So. Yeah, it's super fun. I agree. I agree. If if your team melds well, mm -hmm. and you don't have little nitpicky things. Mm -hmm. um, you, you you just play better. You you kind you can can you kind of read each other? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so so you get this good passing, and you know Shiloh is going to give you the shoot set, and it's going to be short, and you're going, and, and mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. it just works, and it feels so good, right? Yeah. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah. So fun. So the more you play together, the more you you can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like I said, our team bond is crazy because, like, we'll be on the court and, like, you'll know, like, either Maria or, like, different people that you play around, like Bell or Kinsey. You know they'll get that ball. You mm -hmm. know that they're going to be there. So we do our best to just um, read each other so that we don't clash or yeah, whatever. Right. And then to get the best outcome and be able to hit the ball so we can get points. That's true. Mm -hmm. So if, if you trust your back row players, then you're not overplaying and reaching behind you and getting some of those balls that mm -hmm. you – because you know they're going to get it. Yeah. No, it's true. Sure. That's no, true. Well, congratulations on a fabulous win. It was Thank very you. fun Thank to watch you, you guys. <laughs> it was so fun. All right. We all will right. see you at State and hope to do this all over again. Awesome. Yes. See ya. Yeah. All, right. all right. Thank you. Well <laughs> done. Excellent hitting today. Good job. And that's a wrap for Round Valley today. Round Valley versus Sholo. So Round Valley sweeping. Across the board, Round Valley sweeping. Is that normal? Is that something that we normally see that many games, that much, just taking it. it it really isn't and, and we've done it all season long right we've we've swept several teams top to bottom wow. and in that that just shows you 
the kind of program that, that these coaches are building. Woohoo! Good job. Good job, Dad. You Springerville, did an amazing yeah. job. Springerville Chief of Police <laughs> approves of the game and the stream and everything else. There you go. And his daughters play. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was talking to, to Mackenzie's mom, and she said, I don't get to watch the game because I'm too busy watching the line, so she's going to go home and watch the live stream oh, now it. and <laughs> scream and yell at the TV and stuff. And so, guys, I think from the Dome here on the east side, that's going to wrap us up for tonight for Let's Go Elks. A huge thanks to everybody that helped make it happen. Jet, Jet Hamlin running a camera for us. We had Dan Muth, Stephen Pena, Katie Hunt, brave enough to get on a microphone, and yourself, <laughs> Andrea, thank you so much for bringing knowledge to the game instead of just color, which is what it would have been if it was just me. Because <laughs> um, I know they're doing stuff. But I know there's words. And it's to looking it. good. And <laughs> <laughs> but um, but a huge thanks to you. We hope to have you back again if you. This was fun. Like. I loved it, really. So for Let's Go Elks, I'm Wesley McBride. This is Andrea Pena. You guys have a great night. Let's be safe and make good choices. Thanks for watching.